This episode of Your Mom's House is brought to you by Sattva. Big news here. There's a new offer. Go to Sattva, S-A-A-T-V-A dot com slash Y-M-H and get $225 off your purchase. Go now, S-A-A-T-V-A dot com slash Y-M-H and get a new mattress. Welcome. Welcome. Welcome to your mom's house with Tom Segura, Tom Segura, and Christina Pajitsi. Welcome to your mom's house. This episode of Your Mom's House is brought to you by Whoop. This is the fitness wearable uh, that provides personalized insights on your performance of sleep, how recovered your body is. I study this thing every day. Every day, I open the phone. When I wake up, I see how I slept. I see what my resting heart rate is, heart rate variability, how I recovered, and then I know what type of strain I can put on my heart. Uh, There's a strain coach and a sleep coach. I love all the data that you can study. It gives you real insight into what your body is doing. Uh, Additionally, there's a journal. It's automated. It asks you questions. Did you drink alcohol, caffeine, marijuana, sleep medications, did you watch TV? All that stuff plays a part in how you sleep and seeing that data helps you make changes that make you sleep and rest and recover better. It's absolutely fascinating. For our listeners, Whoop is offering 15% off with the code YOURMOM at checkout. Go to Whoop, W-H-O-O-P.com, enter your mom, Y-O-U-R-M-O-M at checkout to save 15%, sleep better, recover faster, and train smarter. Optimize your performance with Whoop. Woo, woo. Hello, this is Captain Marcel. My Aww. sister went down. I'm going down to the mountain. All right, well, go and get her and then come back, I Captain Marcel. Captain Marcel. She's been a little less active on TikTok. Really? Yeah, she's been having a slow time in the quarantine. That happens. Yeah. <laughs> Affects people in different ways, but always remember, if your sister goes down in the mountain, go get her. <laughs> Bye. I'll be back. <laughs> my sister. Yeah. Ma, ma, ma. No, um, um, this is going to be really fun today. This I, is going to be listen, so, so good. I got to tell you that we didn't sleep much last night because our four-year-old slept in the bed with us. But I woke up fresh as a daisy, so excited for life because of the guest that's coming in today. I know, it's wild. And I've trained two dogs using his methods. (laughs) And I have so many questions for him. And I I, I can't wait. I really can't wait. He's a true hero. He is. He's a great guy. I'm real excited. And uh, yeah, we're going to have a really good time. Yeah. We're going to have a good time. I'm there's, excited. I'm amazed. There's some amazed things to <laughs> watch before we even get to him. There's so, so much in our world going on yeah, right now. There's a lot. Why don't we go ahead and cut the BS. <laughs> and uh, Oh, and a, re- a reminder um, to go to my YouTube. We've been shooting a lot of content. Um, it's all in different um, streams and places. Uh, so there's on the main Your Mom's House YouTube channel, uh, last week or a couple weeks ago, you probably saw uh, Josh Potter's place. Um, there's another one that's been added since then. Um, we're also adding things on our IGs. Uh, there's YMH cartoons. You can find them either on the main page or on the clips page. But I also started putting some content that I put on my IG on my personal YouTube page. So my personal YouTube page is uh, YouTube uh, slash Tom Segura. I have my Spanish podcast on there. But you can also find my um, stories from the road content there. Check it out. See if you like it. Maybe you will. Um, Can I do my plugs too? Uh, uh, I'd love to plug where my mom's at. If you're not aware of it, I've got a mom cast, a legit one for cool moms only. And it's really fun. And that's on my own page. (laughs) (laughs) Okay. (laughs) I got to milk you tonight. You are just unbearable. I got okay. to your nuts. <laughs> okay. So far, I see you didn't sleep too. You're tired. I actually think I'm in a good mood. Really? Yeah. Yeah. You don't think so? No, you're okay. I think I'm in a really good mood. Okay. Yeah. All right. You ready to go? Yeah. Yeah. yeah All right. Let's, go. let's do it. Let's get started, guys. Here we go. The way <laughs> no, you shake no. a man's hand <laughs> determines at that spot how interested you really are to be there. Not a death grip handshake, a sincere handshake. Who is Randy? 
Don't bring anyone's mother into this. Yo, mom in the fucking stand! Welcome. Welcome. Welcome to your mom's house with Tom Segura, Tom Segura. and Christina Pajitsin. Welcome to your mom's house. Go ahead. This opening clip because yeah. we watched this on step into the mind of a killer. We watched. Yeah. Well, yeah. we couldn't even. I couldn't get through it. I'll tell you why. The level of bullshit this that guy, this guy spews. This um, reminds me of when people are behind a political candidate and you're like, you don't see how fucking insane this is. Which, <laughs> yeah. You know, like, are you referring to one in particular? <laughs> <I> mean, <laughs> And then Who? you're like, are, you are, you're on board with this? And they're like, yeah. yeah that's great. <laughs> like, yeah. Okay. Like I he mean, has hosed so many people in this false sincerity. This, His intensity. And how does everything make you emotional? Like, I, I don't get, know. I get it. If you have, uh, you know, you go, one time my mom said this and that memory yeah. elicits that emotion. You go, oh, it's a really sincere, heartfelt moment. It's a memory that does that to you, that's a natural thing. But if you start telling every story, when I wrote this song, when my dad said this, when I was at the school, when I, my friends it's, and I, and everything every you story. bring up makes yeah. you go like. <gasps> yeah, like, one time I, I picked up a pen and it was juicy and I love juicy pants. He, do, he does, but he's everything. He's crazy. Yeah, he's. I think, and I've been, <sighs> there's, so, uh, there's so much going on in this you documentary. figure out who you're gonna be. Oh my God. I really like that. So, well, if you don't know what we're referring to, there's a documentary on Netflix about Garth. It aired on another network first. Oh, okay. So they acquired it. They they licensed it. So people may have seen this when it originally aired on, I don't know what channel it was that aired it originally. It came out like a- A&E. A&E. Okay, it was the A&E doc series, and then Netflix thankfully acquired it. <laughs> So that we get to see it, and it is there's I mean, so much going on. So first of all, the intensity of everything he's saying is yeah. what we were initially struck by. Yes, there's he's on the verge of tears constantly. constantly. Now constantly. the cool thing is, if you um, because of the the way the Netflix algorithm works, if you just watch a couple Ted Bundy things, it'll automatically <laughs> play. It comes right after that, right before John Wayne Gacy. Um, here, let's yeah. let's uh, check out a couple more things. It is so hard. He has to say. It is. Then you know, if all hell breaks loose in the next five seconds from that handshake, what? And you turn and you have to face something coming. You've got a partner, female or male. You got someone you can count on. And people might go, oh, "What kind of shit are you talking about?" Amen. That's he's you. He's me? about to cry right there. I'll bet my life on it. What? I'll bet my life on it. Well, how about like when you shake and then in the next five seconds, if some shit happens <laughs> that you need help, what are you, are you in Syria or something? What are you talking about? Yeah. You're he's, a fucking country singer, man. Yeah, isn't he from like Oklahoma? Does yeah. shit go down there he's so like, much? If that- in the next five seconds, someone comes in here <laughs> with a fucking machine gun. I know you got my back, by the way. Oh my God. Okay. There's a lot going on here. So let's go through, first of all, the, the teary delivery. Number two, everything he says sounds so rehearsed there is yeah. not one spontaneous moment f- in this entire documentary of him just being like oh well, everything uh, you know. has weight everything's so heavy which means I, I feel like they he was like okay i'll do your documentary but i want to know exactly what you're going to ask beforehand like he oh, wanted to i don't know, think he said i want to know what you're he's like here's what you're gonna, here's ask what you're gonna me. tell me yeah. i'm gonna tell you yeah yeah and then he's doing the michelle pfeiffer um, 90s movie. What's that one where she's teaching in the inner city and she sits down in the chair, the mm-hmm. opposite, the AC oh, yeah. Slater is what you kids call it. Oh, yeah, yeah dangerous yeah. The minds, chair. the, the bad backwards boy. chair. Yeah, yeah. AC Slater. It's yeah. good for thick boys. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. what yeah. I was it thinking. Hides, it hides yeah, stuff. it's a good thick boy seat. It is. Yeah. <laughs> Flip it around, you kind of get. Yeah, that's I what I was thinking that he's concealing. Oh, definitely. Yeah, yeah, the yeah. weight. It's hard. 
Yeah. Russell was a really good athlete. He could throw stuff a mile. So he could throw a football, he could throw a javelin, he could throw a baseball, he could throw any implement Look at him. further than anybody else. Athletics kept me in school long enough to go, hey, did. Are you going to cry? School is what you need. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Why does that elicit emotion? I know. It's like he's on his period. He's about to get his period any minute. School. <laughs> well, and not school. only that, if you'll notice, not nobody in his circle has a single negative thing to say. It's not even like, you know, Garth was messy. Yeah. He was a messy roommate in college. Not even Nothing. he could throw, he could kick, he could throw a he could, he could walk on stuff. He could walk on mile. water. Yeah, a mile. He could heal the lepers. I mean, this guy is the next uh, messiah. He can he do can everything. Throw stuff. Yeah. A mile. A mile. If you're a soldier, you oh, need a Oh, Jesus Christ. If you're a boxer, you need an opponent. And if you're in country music, you don't have to look far to find who you're competing against. And you're competing against the other forms of music. So compete, mm. compete, compete. And when you're done competing, compete again. What? It's country music. You're it's, kind of, that's what you're doing if you're a musician? You're competing against the other forms of music? No, you're not. But I think country's a very specific lane. Either you're into it or you're not. Right? I'm, I'm so confused. Every day he goes, let's get in the studio and let's kick some rap's ass and let's kick <laughs> some fucking rock and roll's ass <laughs> <laughs> with this song about my motherfucking truck. Let's go. I mean, it is just it's so strange. Are you listening to Billie yeah. Eilish? Or are you listening to me? And also, b the beard cut. As a bearded man, yeah. can you look at the cut of that beard and tell me that yeah, that... Yeah, it's, it's shaped terribly. Yeah. It's not flattering. I mean, I love the, uh, the get up for oh. the fire here. <laughs> you know? Like in his full... If you're a what soldier, are you wearing, you bro? Like, <laughs> like he's a boxer, you picking up warrant. trash on the side of the highway. Well, I guess he doesn't want to get hit <laughs> He doesn't want to get hit by any hunters. He's got his like bright. <laughs> what the fuck is this outfit? I don't know. And then he went there. He's like, this is my spot. Oh, my God. We need a little inspiration. We need to think <laughs> something out. We need to <laughs> talk about something. Can I come here? <laughs> Be on fire. Stop. Stop. Because <sighs> no, remember, he goes, I, want, I like to. This is where I grew up. The, he does look like he's a savant in this photo. <laughs> Like this frame right here, he's about to be like, I dropped 263 toothpicks on the ground. <laughs> yeah. 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 Oh, oh. Oh, also in that first episode, he's like, you guys think you've worked at music before? This is rehearsal for the tour. He goes, yeah. get ready. Cause you've never done music like this. And they're like, we're just, I play drums. I'm the sound guy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, what are you talking about, man? Like, you've never played fucking I'm music I'm doing your like lights. This. Very nice. So if you notice this time on the start, here they come. It's this big thing. There should be somebody pedaling in with this mean ass <laughs> right off that top. And we're doing this ball, down, down. We need to keep all those chords. So you can't tastefully play ball, ball, just set. Okay? I need you to finish it. Ball, ball, ball. So let's just get it bigger, fuller, meaner, stomp in there, okay? Oh, man. Yeah. <clears throat> but um, wait, but my favorite is when he still plays Humble Pie. Like he's not a multimillionaire, billionaire guy. And he's like, I just, my, my yeah. favorite place to be is where I grew up on this piece of shit farm in the middle <laughs> of Oklahoma. I like you to. just set a fire <laughs> and you can think about all the things running through your head. All these rappers out there making money. I want to kill every <laughs> one of them <laughs> with their chains and their fancy rides. Fuck them. Yeah. I got a new song. Beep, ba, ba, da, ba, deep, ba, boop. And do you think he deliberately wears like crappier oh, yeah. clothing? Like he does For not sure. fucking wear. No, no. I, I bet in the house he's like, oh, are the cameras outside? Go get me that uh, <laughs> Ford shirt. Throw on my Ford emblem. Yeah, there's no way. Hey, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> Such a bogey. Wait, and How my. Can you not like that. <laughs> 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 I don't know, man. You guys. Yeah. Uh, my daddy woke up every day, and his lyrics too. And he's talking about my daddy. My daddy woke oh, up every, every morning time. for for work. Like asshole, most every people's dads wake up every day. What for daddy work. did? Yeah. He told me. Yeah, you're my, gonna have to work hard. Yeah. All right. Yeah. No shit. That's uh. That's what dads do. 
<laughs> Pretty original take that your dad had. <laughs> You got. You gonna have to work if you want to earn it. No. You know, he said that I'm gonna have to work <laughs> if I want to earn it. The Let tears. me tell you something, Garth, fucking Brooks. Imagine a pig with tits. Okay. Oh, All speaking right? of a pig with tits, even his ex-wife, mm -hmm. the first wife, yeah, tri the first Trish, mm -hmm. had nothing but good things to say about her ex-husband which listen they know the routine no one's gonna you're not getting in break. the dock if you have if you're talking right. about she's like i knew he was talented <laughs> first time he sang i was like wow he can really sing that is a hundred percent her interview you know he's just the best garth is the best man on the planet mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. his penis is so large and his music is so good best lover i ever had like, uh, give me a break i know Anyway. This guy is on, I, and I, I would like a psychologist to really analyze, and all jokes aside here, I'm very curious as to what is really going on. This guy has such a serious facade going on. What is really the I deal? think part of it, honestly, I think part of it is the pressure of being that, that famous and celebrated. I think it kind of fucks with you, you know? Like Tom Cruise has that kind of thing too. Or well, I'm just saying like the expectations, normal. like people are like, you're like if people all day are not they're not just saying like i'm your fan they're like you you know you changed my life when i went through this i listened to your albums and i, yeah. I wasn't able to recover without like like if you're getting told that millions of times i think yeah he, you know your expectations of yourself change i know it's i think that's part of what's happening it, to him it always makes me laugh when we get those kinds of emails and compliments you're like your fart jokes mm. saved my life when yeah. i was in the hospital and you talked about it's that nice, right? It's nice to coming hear coming in his own face. Yeah, <laughs> I'm like, yeah. our stuff is not exactly the same as like a well-crafted country song. But that's what I'm saying, though. If you had the same <laughs> impact, yeah, it's meaningful. Yeah, it's meaningful. But I don't know. This guy is not. Yeah. Anyways, listen. This this is the gift that keeps on giving. We'll come back to it. This, you know, we've we've got we've gone down this uh, path a lot lately. But he just keeps giving, keeps giving, keeps giving, and. A lot of people are, um, you know, um, pointing out rightfully so that uh, Connell checked out right before the world changed. And it is curious yep. that um, he passed and then a pandemic takes place. And then, you know, there's this horrific thing that happens. And then the world where everyone's protesting, and you're like, really? Fed Smoker doesn't have anything to do with any of this? Okay. How do you get a job here, you fuck face? Are you insinuating that he planted the seeds? I don't know, but th we did discover the video where he pulled somebody over. Oh, my. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh. You're speeding, Americans. Remember him? Remember this guy speeding? We we'll had to pull his ass over. What? Get in the grass, buddy. Um, what? It's a pretty bold move. <laughs> hey, how's it going? Hi. Uh, can you tell me the speed limit out here, my dear brother? Well, it's it's marked on the signs. 60. Well, it, it's variable. Oh, it is? Uh, yeah, it's it's right here. It's it's typically uh, 60. Yeah. <gasps> he has a fake cop car. Yeah, that's what he always drove. I did not realize that oh, he yeah. had lights and... Yeah, he had a black, unmarked... <laughs> crazy like stuffed with shit and racks on top uh like crown vic i gotta tell you that i guess because every time i'm he's talking i'm just so blown away at the con yeah. the content i'm not really noticing the form this is a real new lane to get into though to pulling Im people over impersonate it yeah, how fast were you going there bud <laughs> well, i thought yeah i thought you was a cop for a minute I, are you a cop no i'm not what's going on Oh, I, I clipped you in and going like 75. You what? I clipped you in and going, I'm not a cop. I just, I was filming you do about 70, 75. You know what? Yeah. No. Yeah. That's the right <laughs> that guy goes, you know what? No. No. <laughs> just no. Can you imagine sitting on the side of the road and he comes <laughs> up to you like, how fast you going there, brother? And you're like, like um, what? what? And you see the fucking hair standing up and... <laughs> He's been grinding his teeth for a while. <laughs> Who knows what he's fucking wearing right here? <laughs> he doesn't even have a gun, like one of those, not a no. gun gun, but a speeding, the gun that they, they catch on. Like, this guy just goes, no... you know what? <laughs> Who are you? No. No badge, no uniform. 
<laughs> Am I allowed to do 70 out here? Yeah, I'm, I'm not a police officer. I'm not yeah. going to tell, tell you what you can or can't do. Okay. But I can tell you that uh, if you want to uh, be driving while you're filming, that's against the law. Our car's got dash cams all over it. I wasn't dr that's filming when I was driving. Cool. It's that's filming us right now. <laughs> that's definitely not true. Wait, but what color is this car? Is this car's white. white it's a white knight. He's got a white chariot there. Yep. <laughs> He's seen them everywhere. All these fucking white chariots driving around. Now, what is the some symbolism of the white chariots, though? Do you know? I thought he's just noticing a lot of them. Okay, but I not, they don't mean anything. I'm not sure. I I haven't noticed like why he's doing it. Because I don't think he's like he doesn't go like isn't that great? He's just like there's a fucking other one. Like yeah, they he, mean something. He's just recognizing patterns. It seems like. I don't know though. I think they symbolize something else because remember when he was interviewing the Asian lady. Mm -hmm. And he noted that they were white. Isn't that ironic? They're yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. White that's chairs. what I'm saying. He's, I think it's he's... a racial thing for him. Huh. I think it's a symbol of the... Oh, yeah, there you go. A white horse. That's right. Jesus stuff. What does it say that it symbolizes? The like on the, on the the drop down? Well, the, they always come down in a white chariot, right? Like uh, right. they're saviors or something. What does a white horse symbolize? See the next question down? What does that one say? White horses stand for the balance of wisdom and power. Hmm. In Christianity, oh, is a symbol of death. Oh. Ooh. I, but see, I doubt that he. No, he doesn't know all that. No, he's, he's just, just like they're keep making white cars. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What are we thinking? It's deep. Come on. Yeah. Guys, fucking yeah. me. I, I drive to. There. That's who walked yeah, up to you. Very <laughs> respectfully. Yeah, I didn't yeah. catch your name. Yeah, you didn't. Yeah. Well, can I have it? No. 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 <laughs> no, uh, that's the right attitude. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's how, that's that's how you want to handle someone like that. Didn't catch your name. Yeah, you didn't. <laughs> <laughs> and I he's just, being way nicer than he has to be. Absolutely, really. And kind. he's still telling this story, by the way. This guy. Yeah. He'll tell you what happened to me one time. <laughs> I was on the side of the road. He fucking. He has like a state provided vehicle or something, though, right? No, yeah, he is a government employee. Just not a police officer. Yeah, Just but not. but Connell was hoping that he was pulling over a police oh my officer, God. which is insane. I know, he was going to be like, how fast were you going there, bud? <laughs> he he oh was bummed. He was bummed that he wasn't like a uh -huh. sheriff. It's fucking crazy, man. That's so wild. How fast as you was going, the lady behind me, was. I had to slow down for that bitch because she's <laughs> driving. <laughs> okay. okay. I'm like a mouse on these roads, okay? Yeah, okay. Well, thank you very much. Okay. Oh, yeah, okay. Colorado Department of Transportation. This guy, he's like, oh, my God. You know where the nearest restroom might be? Oh, you're filming the car? Yeah, yeah. I'll get you stuff here. Do you, what, do you think I'm the bad guy now? No, I don't think you're a bad guy. I think you're a speeder, brother. You better slow it down if you want to keep your job, okay? I'm a retired state CI double agent. You know what that is? Means I'm always on record, brother. Okay. You were in the wrong, okay? The wrong. CI double agent. CI double agent. <laughs> Never heard it said that way, no. but I'm going to start saying it. This guy's a CI double agent. <laughs> a lot of training for uh, that. So you slow this motherfucker down, oh. okay? okay? Are you going to be pushing a pencil or something in my spec? Okay. Or working at Burger King where you probably used to work before you got this fucking job, okay? You remember working at Burger King? You sure do. Thank you. <laughs> I mean, who is he to throw stones when he was working at Falcon Car Wash? I mean, he owned and operated a car wash, a <laughs> dentistry practice, a barber shop. I'm sure he has massage practice. That's you know? true. <laughs> he could have been who you saw. Let me tell you what I saw in the park. I yeah. mean, you're going to die. I was driving into work, and I'm, I'm t I've tell you this. I've seen a lot of shit. I've seen... Guys fucking in the streets of mm -hmm. San Francisco. I saw a guy wearing a pink uh, u unitard on a unicycle. I've seen yep. crazy shit. I saw a man laying in the grass on his stomach, shirtless, and another man on top of him giving him a full body massage. Mm. <laughs> mm. <laughs> like in the park. That's... Just a one man giving another man a massage. I'm a retired state CI double agent. That's probably who you saw. <laughs> but I'm thinking I've never seen that in my entire life. I haven't seen that. I do think that I have a, a real uh, uh, like like primal resistance yeah. to seeing public massage. Oh, of course. I like 
Doors closed, yeah. curtains drawn. Dark. Dark. Yeah. I, I mean, I think mall massages are weird when they have like I the hate little it. thing. And I think the airport massage. The weirdest. I've I've walked up before been like, they're like massage, like, yeah, where? And they're like, right here. I'm like, what about all the people walking around? And they're like, yeah, they'll just watch. I'm like, no. Wait, because I am I would imagine that everyone's looking at me because they are. When you walk by and you see that person with their face mashed yeah, into the black thing and then they're sitting up. And then you up. start to like actually... <laughs> pass out in the chair and people just walking by you well and and also they don't let you lay down on those airport massages oh, you're, you're, you're sitting just hugging up, that chair you're, like, you're uh, sitting you're sitting garth style on a chair <laughs> hugging the chair and someone's i know grinding it's in your worst. back and you're like uh, 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 it's, drooling yeah it's like let me lay down and really enjoy this because you give me can you give me it. a little bit of privacy <laughs> a little bit right uh, like it's a, it's like those chinese foot massage places exactly. and you're lined up with every other a-hole no, in the that. neighborhood i don't want that either i always ask for private room a little a little bit of you know be a discreet in some way private room yeah and that may be an additional ten dollars but you know what it's worth it or wait other worse in the chinese massage you ever had it where they do your feet and then you're like you want full body and you're like yeah and then they sit you up <laughs> Yeah. And then they just give you a back massage uh -huh. with your bra. But how do they ask you? You want full body? <laughs> and then they give you the massage. But you're sitting up, so you're yeah. not comfortable again. And everybody's watching. I don't like it. Yeah. Have you done it? Yeah, no, I have. I have. It's all, yeah, it's uncomfortable. Do they make it, you go shirtless or do they make the men keep on the No. Because I have to keep if my If it's like a, on, le like, like a legit Chinese place, yeah, no, they'll just like... They'll wear their shoes and just climb on you. <laughs> <laughs> and you keep your clothes on. Yeah, no, it's not. Uh, yeah, it's totally done like that. By the way, we did um, nah. a big push for our <laughs> favorite human ever. Um, <laughs> RPC, of course, I'm talking about. Come check it out. He, uh, check it out. <laughs> he has a... It's my building, try it out. He has a fans only, as he likes to call it. We like to refer to it by its more commonly referred to name only fans um and we wanted to give you a little taste of the difference between some well-known um uh, people on only fans and the content they put out and then just the way rpc handles good it. because i'm not familiar with the only fans website yeah. I don't so there are a lot of people in the adult business uh who do that and of course it's a it's a revenue stream it's a way for them to have like isolate fans come here see exclusive content it's, you know, they're owning their content, making money and connecting with their fans. It's great. So here is an image from Alexis, Texas, from her OnlyFans, correct? And you can see it's, um, you know, sexy photo. Well lit. Yep. She's laying on a bed. You could post this on social media. It's like, it's right on the line of probably getting flagged by Instagram, but you could definitely, but you know, you're, this is like, you're seeing what she would put out there right so and if she's got a lot of genres in play she's got the foot demo she's got the hiney demo mm -hmm. that, that's two big demos right and, and she's on the bed being like come get it you know get it. come get it what's up and then like that's her and then like this is uh this is rpc you know? there, let me know guys man i'm gonna compete the fuck with man i'm gonna get a rate with your fucking dicks man you just fucking big black guys the latino guys out there man you got hairy this matter you're a big bear Man, fuck. Come fuck me, man. <laughs> His fuck stomach's me, man. bigger than I remember. Yeah. His stomach looks bigger when he turns. Well, it's quarantine, side. you know, quarantine. Yeah, quarantine. quarantine 15. Yeah, he's got a new well necklace on. I didn't notice. He's yeah. got a new necklace. He's got the cowboy hat, but you know, yeah. it just looks mixed it up. Here, here's uh, there's Lexi Bell. Pretty lady. All right, pretty girl. And this is from hers. And what is it? Well, she's posing in a bathroom mirror and you know she's throw up the peace sign she's got a little like half the crop top on yoga pants and it's just like hey i'm sexy i'm fun what's up guys again connecting with the fans showing your fans what you're like in real life it's a lot of sweat <laughs> Oh, his nipple clamps yeah. are on there too. Oh. He's in the hall. He's in his stairwell. own hallway. Oh. Oh. He's gonna jerk off in his own stairwell. Whoa. 
twenty three ninety five. Oh my god. <laughs> um he's in his hallway in yeah. his building. So yeah. you could you could be walking into your apartment or out of your apartment and just see that in the halls. <laughs> It's pretty cool. Yeah. Again, this is available at OnlyFans.com <laughs> slash, uh, was it R Champagne? Robert Champagne. Robert Champagne. It's pretty cool, man. What's up, OnlyFans <laughs> members? What's up? I'm excited because I'm feeling better. And tomorrow at 11.30 PST AM, I'm going to be going live on OnlyFans slash Adriana Chechik. So come hang out with me. You see all these unicorns pooping cupcakes? Well, we're gonna be making some cupcakes. So let's get messy. Let's play in all of that cream. And I'll see you guys tomorrow at 11.30 a.m. PST, PST. I got it. Have a great night. Again, you get- Sweet. Yeah, it's a, a, a famous adult performer and she's giving you the the big up so like here's what's gonna happen at my OnlyFans you know you're Just, gonna make cupcakes we're gonna make gonna cupcakes you're gonna see me yeah snatch. yeah we got it yeah so it's pretty cool and then you know there's RPC yeah I wanna come now I wanna come I wanna come oh 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 Oh, that was the turning point. That's ah, why you pay blah, blah, extra blah, 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 right blah, blah, there. Blah, blah, blah. That's the fee. That's what you pay, you pay for that, right? Well, so so all of the other people, they're kind of treating the OnlyFans like, hey, you pay X amount a month, and then you get access to purchase this extra exclusive content. Right. So it's like a paywall on a paywall. Gotcha. RPC says, give me 20 bucks for three months, and you get it all. Oh, so those other those ladies we showed mm -hmm. that's like their stuff that goes like this is the outside this is outside the door right you want to get you want to watch you have, her and you have to pay money to be outside the door got you but then if you want to watch her do muffins at 11 a.m pst you mm -hmm. have to pay more money and i think that's where like uh uh, uh my instincts come in is seeking value Mm -hmm. So right. if you're looking for more bang for your buck on fans only mm -hmm. for for only fans for fans on HTPP only fans on RPCs only fans that's where the real value is that's it's the most valuable only fans account on the platform wow I feel sick from this one <laughs> there's one very tiny paywall and it's not even it's, it's not, not even that, that big of a paywall it's not a big hurdle oh, 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 oh. That's pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> you know, yeah, he's so horny for his age too. He is, and that leg slap when he slapped his legs in the hallway. I mean, it's a loud one. Oof. Yeah, yeah. How come he's so horny and he's in his? I don't know how old he is. Mid fifties. There's a lot of horny people out there. Yeah, yeah. It's good for him. Good for him. He I still has that drive. Mm -hmm. I don't like him eating his mayonnaise. Though. Oh, I thought it was pretty cool. I don't like that part. <laughs> all right uh maybe we should take a little break okay let's take a quick break we'll go vomit Thanks. and uh we'll be right back <laughs> <laughs> all right we're back josh potter's here <laughs> it's the best theme it's, they're doing uh, that a lot more lately yeah <laughs> the world got mean? to step into your house i saw my room <laughs> that video was a hit I, yeah, I, I'm glad. <laughs> That's what I'll say. I'm glad it's a hit. Yeah, uh, yeah. I have to I feel say, like, I feel like it's really let the curtain down on a few for a few, and uh, I've lost some uh, fans. I think you gained some fans too. I gained a lot. Well, yeah, I'm just talking about the ones that would, were willing to suck my dick before. You sure. Know yeah, but that doesn't mean they're not like. There's gonna be some new ones that want to suck it in the new layout and they know you. They know what they're getting into, which means <laughs> they really like you. Well, that would be true. Yes, yeah. I do. I do like the vetting process have you maintained at all oh yeah yeah like it's one of those things now where it's like i'm obsessed with maintaining it good that's for good. you that's good. so we'll see how i mean the night then the covid will come back in the fall and i'll see what happens but. <laughs> you know i have to also uh, thank you for taking one for the team with tit cups because oh yes you're welcome tit cups were a huge hit as well my tits were on 
fuego. Yeah, what was the aftermath? It like? was they were bruised pretty good, and uh, <laughs> my face had that bruise for like. That was my favorite. <laughs> was that was the coolest thing I've ever seen. The face one. That was the most comfortable. I could do that every segment. Well, that, that. But out. the face <laughs> one, I love. But also when you use that little cup for just the nipple. Oh my god, that, that was, was the, the that was torture. Yeah. Like if I if we ever have to punish somebody, that should be the. So are you using <laughs> the? Are you using them at all? Like in I your mean, own they're in the they're. Uh, <laughs> you know, because they are so space age, I didn't think that I should take them home. They oh. have the studios took up, so I kept them here in case, you know, someone else wanted to take a. Is you know, that face bruise still visible? I mean, it might be. I, I did oh cut my myself shaving. But it, it oh, is. okay. So it might also be visible. Um, so will you do, will you consider doing cameos with tit cups or no? Oh yeah. I would raise the price. I mean, I'd have yeah. to take them home and plug them in. And I mean, we're yeah. talking uh, overhead for electricity. I mean, that is. A lot of wattage comes out of those tit I'm cups. I'm thinking like for a tit cup cameo, you could probably up it to like 150. Pro I'm going to have to. I mean, yeah. the number of cameos that I'm getting already. Whew, you know, I mean, I can't imagine RPC here uh, jizzing in his mouth and stuff oh like that. Oh, my like, God. I, I wouldn't be able to do that every time. It would really oh, take a toll time. on me. No. You know? Are you going to start jacking on OnlyFans? <laughs> I, I mean, if it gets to that point, I mean, the, the way the world is going, 2020 has been quite the year. 2020 is so fucked. <laughs> I'm not ruling anything out. Yeah. <laughs> Shit, I might be doing that with you. <laughs> not too long from now. Uh, Fuck me. Um, yeah. But, oh, but just so you know, I have ordered a dick cage. That's right. You did email me the dick cage. The I'm dick so cage is coming, and I'm I'm trying to reaching out to some so we can experiment special people so that they can yeah experiment. It's on the can't way. wait yeah. to feel that. I hope it's not one of those like if I grow, it penetrates my urethra. <laughs> well, <laughs> see. did you see? I, I no, didn't notice that. I didn't can, want to look. We can don't, look for a don't modification. Cancel it. No, don't cancel it. I don't want to do that. Um. So I'm I want to get into a that. couple stories that we yeah. read. Yeah. So maybe There's some first, fun news that's getting lost in the shuffle. Yeah, oh. because we have so much stuff on the one story. Maybe we could start with the other story first. Oh, yes. Yeah, so um, let's put a giant umbrella of allegedly over this first story. Allegedly. Yes. But do you are you you're aware of Senator Lindsey Graham? I have completely turned off the news. You don't know Lindsey Graham? Lindsey Graham, the evangelist. Well, no. Uh, no, but I can understand why you might consider that to be his job if you heard him talk he's from south carolina you definitely recognize him if you okay, see it at see the him. kavanaugh trial he'd be like oh this you, is you an an image of, uh, oh he's one of those yeah he's uh um, oh yeah he's, he's very old, very well old known. school is yes. he like an old and he's a bit of, of a he's a bit of a southern yeah, yeah i have yeah. a bit of a, a little bit of a sweetness to myself <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> a little bit of sugar in the tank you might bit say of sugar in my tank man oh, you sweet in the sour sauce and people have always accused him despite his stances on gay marriage he's very against it obviously uh he thinks he's compared homosexuality to um polygamy and other things like that you would think that would mean he's like you know the straightest bachelor there is but there yeah. have been accusations perhaps what? Maybe Lindsey Graham is a gay man. <sighs> no. And these have followed him throughout his career, you understand. And in 2018, he actually addressed it one time. He's like, I hate to disappoint y'all, but uh, there is no clandestine <laughs> relationship <laughs> with Ricky Martin happening. I'm sure hundreds of gay men are jumping off the Golden Gate Bridge when they find <laughs> out that I'm straight, but I'm sorry, I'm not gay. And he went through all this trouble to explain and uh, recently, and I don't know what the catalyst for all this was, recently male sex workers have decided that they are going to speak out despite signing non-disclosure agreements uh, about their relations with Lindsey Graham. And one such uh, instance was published and then deleted uh, at one point, uh, but it was commenting on Lindsey Graham and a sexual encounter, and they were in the hotel room, and Here's the actual image that's taken from it. You want me to read it? Oh, yeah. You can read the story yeah. if you'd like, if, so, you want, or if you want to describe it well, instead. Well, just, I mean, you can describe it or if you want to read it. I mean, the, sure, read the, it, yeah. literally it says that the, the man goes, he went to the bathroom, he pulled up the image just to be sure because he thought the guy looked familiar. He went he by goes, the code name Lady G. Lady G. Oh. And, um, <laughs> it's, and he so pulled up the picture, goes, yep, it's Senator Graham, all right. And when I came out of the bathroom, he was on the on the bed naked on all fours. <laughs> I noted that there were dark marks around his anus. Hmm. I asked if he had showered. He said yes. I asked if it was okay if I wiped him down. He said sure. 
I wet a face towel and I wiped and wiped between his buttocks, but nothing was coming off. Then I realized that his taint wasn't dirty. It was just full of moles, dark moles <laughs> in dense clusters up and down the length of his taint. Oh, he said, hope you don't mind. You want to say the next line? Those are just... Them just my little butterfly. What did you say? Ladybugs. My little ladybugs. That's Them right. Just my little ladybugs. Those are my, my the, little ladybugs. And then the guy said, I ran out of there. Now you know what I see in my mind anytime he comes up in the news. Ladybugs. Any escort he's hired should be able to verify this. Thank you for listening. Wow. There's Is that why Tom's called Mr. 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 Ladybug? Because <laughs> of your anal moles? I got all them That's why you bugs. wouldn't go down there well, this now, whole time. I mean, any medical professionals listening, is that possible that it's moles or could it be warts? Oh, I'm sure it's possible it's like, moles because like it's your skin. HP. And clearly, you he's, been, have moles he's grown up with this. He has a name for it. Do you think his mother his gave him that bugs. like when yeah. he was no, a child? But you could have anal warts, Mommy, too. Why yeah, do but I why, have... why couldn't it be moles? Um, I just, I don't know. I would imagine to have a bunch of them, a cluster on your taint would be really rare. Hmm. No, because you can you can have a cluster of moles anywhere. anywhere. Yeah, if it's, uh, it's your human skin. Is it wrong to have empathy for you can a take person that down. who doesn't Thanks. have any... Do you know what I'm saying? You have what? Is it is it wrong to have empathy for a person who lacks it completely? <laughs> <laughs> no. Yeah. Because I feel I feel like he grew up with these. You know, obviously he was like growing up and he's like, I have these weird things on my body. And my his mom was bugs. like, those are just your little ladybugs. <laughs> and then he took it with him throughout his life. And he has to explain that to every lover. You know, it must Ugh. be taxing. Do you think he showed mama like as a teen? And he was like, like mama. my mama, the, the, the boys say this is weird. <laughs> I got all these chocolate spots. Oh, spots. honey, them just your little ladybugs. I got then, chocolate spots between my legs, mama. Mama tells me. What if he said that to the male uh, escorts? <laughs> mama says them just my little ladybugs. <laughs> uh. Allegedly, like, of course. Allegedly, allegedly. Do you like chocolate chips in your ice cream? <laughs> yeah. I got some running up and down my tank. Chocolate chips. Them just the chocolate chips <laughs> in my cream. Mm. Well, In my cookie. Now, but hold on. Am I on the wrong <laughs> side <laughs> here that if you sign an NDA and you willingly go into something as an escort, like, isn't that kind of not cool? Well, the it's outing, definitely there is, in the not cool department. And right? also, yeah. there, yeah. and it goes along the lines of the outing aspect. People are, are questioning that. Is this, is outing this man the, the right tactic? But because he's been so appalling uh, as far as gay rights go, that's people true. are saying oh. that. Yes, that's true. It's that's, warranted. That's kind of fair, I guess, right? If and you that's have why they're record. willing to jump in. He's anti like sex work almost, too, and Ugh. he's complicit in it. So it's like, allegedly. True. Allegedly. Allegedly. Allegedly, but these guys always are this way. These, always, these Every guys time. that are There's out against, list of them. yeah, it's yeah. a whole list of them. the That's the right. super religious types are the ones who are like, when God sees a man, He does not see him laying down <laughs> next to another man. When they really paint the image, spitting in the Lord's face <laughs> as he jacks himself <laughs> off watching this show. <laughs> they really like. It's an abomination when man lays with man, <laughs> stroking his hard, hard glistening penis, and he's got that look in his eyes. Right and they before. really like, kind of drift off, yeah, you know. Yeah, I tenderly like kiss his mouth. Yeah, yeah. And the sweat from feels his, his hot balls. breath touch his tongue. Oh, God! And you it's think an abomination. The man. <laughs> would be able to withstand another man pushing up on his backside. Ugh. And of course Ugh. it makes you Ugh. come. Ugh. It makes you come buckets, but it's wrong. <laughs> it's wrong. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. But wow. our, our, Thanks for sharing the yeah, lady. Yeah, so that's just that. fun, right? That's just that's, a fun That's little, a far, well, fun one. Well, it's line. cute, and that's why I thought it was something to bring up, something cute. You know, I felt kind of bad for Lindsey Graham that he's had to deal with maybe if he didn't have his little ladybugs that were <laughs> just kind of you know, poisoning his brain his whole life, maybe he would be a little more <laughs> well adjusted and he could come out yeah. and be gay and help uh, raise awareness. For I'd like to say rights. something, Senator Graham. I absolutely stand for ladybugs and for you to do whatever gets you off, sir. So, and this, of course, is these are alleged um, accusations and, you know, you might not have anything on your taint, in which case, you know. What if he had, what, yeah. you think that's going to be a statement? It's not about him being gay. Yeah. He's going to change the narrative and be like, Here, how dare you say that about my taint? Here's a photograph yes. above my taint. Yeah. You'll see yeah. it is clearly got, I have millions of dollars. I would get moles removed. Exactly. 
Where's your logic? If he did a photo release of his tank just to, to <laughs> dispel the rumors. That would be beautiful. That would be beautiful. Wow. As you can see here, <laughs> exhibit A. Um, this taint press release would be amazing. For all our sakes, we need to avoid crowds any way we can right now. But what if you need to go to the post office? What if you need postage to send out letters and packages? Don't worry. Stamps.com is here to help. With Stamps.com, you can print postage on demand and skip those lines and crowds at the post office. And if that wasn't enough, Stamps.com also offers UPS services now, which is tremendous with discounts up to 62% and no UPS residential surcharges. Stamps.com brings all the services of the U.S. Postal Service right to your computer in the safety and comfort of your own home, office, or anywhere else you are hunkering down right now. Whether you're a small business sending invoices or an online seller shipping out products, uh, Stamps.com can handle all of it with ease. And right now, our listeners get a special offer that includes a four-week trial plus free postage and a digital scale without any long-term commitment. Just go to stamps.com, click on the microphone at the top of the homepage and type in mom. That's stamps.com. Enter mom. Stay safe, my friends. Listen up, fellas, because today we have a new Manscaped product alert. Reach between your legs. No, not there. Manscaped just released the Weed Whacker Nose and Ear Hair Trimmer. Take a look in the mirror and I'll guarantee you will see some hair sticking out of those holes. And it's time to keep your ear and hair nose looking as nice as your clean, shaven pubes i gotta tell you when there's nose hairs they tickle you end up pulling like like you know you're always scratching rubbing because it's like tickling the inside and if you pull those hairs i don't know about you for me automatic tears i pull i just i just cry just waterfalls come out of my my eyes because that stuff is sensitive you need a good effective strong ear and nose trimmer the ear hair is growing sideways it's itching it looks crazy you look like a psycho old man Dude, nobody likes it. Nobody likes ear hair. Nobody likes nose hair. Get the get this weed whacker and trim that stuff up. Um, it's time to upgrade your Manscaped routine. Get 20% off plus free shipping with the code MOMWW at Manscaped.com. Get 20% off and free shipping with the code MOMWW at Manscaped.com. That's 20% off with free shipping at Manscaped.com. Use our code MOMWW. What are you waiting for? Go whack your weeds. Go ahead and uh, yeah, let's let's hear about this other story. Ooh, this is the one dear. I'm so Christina. excited. Okay, I'm Christina, scared. do you know who Nacho Vidal is? Of course not. No. Of course, I thought you were gonna be like, of course. Nacho well, Vidal. So is it a wrestler? No, he is an adult film star, oh, and sake. he uh, has a sort of a genre that he is a part of. A bit of the Gonzo uh, end of things, I would say. Um, I've included some stills of his work. Well, this is a. Headshot. This is just a headshot. Yeah, he looks kind of like the kid that you know he was in like first grade with you, and he would play with a lighter on the school bus, and then he grew up. Mm -hmm. He's a Spanish man. He's from Spain. And okay. yes, he's Spania. he's very well known in the industry. Very very well known performer. <laughs> There's him uh, giving a woman a breakfast in bed. It looks like that's cornflakes. Just a little spin on the cereal. Yeah, he's rather aggressive. Uh huh. <laughs> Yeah, I would, I would <laughs> say that's a good word. Is he uh, squatting over her? Yes, you yeah. see that blur is his penis, mm -hmm. and uh, he's pouring cornflakes on her face. And I'd imagine he's going to add the milk, if you will. Yeah, oh, and yeah. Uh, I would say cereal, I'd yeah. also add that that blur is not that small, if you know what I'm talking <laughs> yeah. about. Um, yeah, we're yeah. not blurring out a brand name there. Yeah. That is. Uh, <laughs> well, that's definitely some foreign cereal too. That's not. The yeah. Good kind yeah, I don't we think have. they went out and got a good kind for this because she's no. not really going to get a lot in her mouth. Should we go to the next photo? Ooh. Oh, sure. Yeah, I mean, this one. He's just having. This is having a grand old time. Look at that oh. smile on his face. And this is a. That's what's he doing here? I think that's a woman. Maybe she's sleeping. Or and he's smothering her with a pillow. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, there's a woman under there. That's. I thought it and was. Where's a dog. his hand? <laughs> I would imagine uh, due to the sensor blur, it's uh, all it, maybe the hand is hidden. You wouldn't see the hand without the blur if you mm -hmm. catch my my drift. So basically, he's um, a pretty intense guy. I yeah. saw one video with him and Rocco in it together. Wow. It two was legends. called Animal Trainer. Wow. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> they were using a toilet in just in ways that I've never even imagined. Sounds you ever like heard of a swirly? 
Yeah. 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 Did you ever think that it could be involved during sex? Because I didn't until I saw this video. No. Animal trainer, huh? Yeah, you should check it out. Put no. that on your queue. <laughs> <laughs> it's gnarly. <laughs> so this man, you know, he's very rich, very wealthy. Uh, he's had some troubles with the law in the past with some embezzling or some things he like that. He had embezzling trouble? Yeah, he had some money, tax fraud and things like that. Your typical white white collar stuff you know should i play these interview clips well first, uh, or not yet we can get into that but okay. I, I want did you want me to talk about his crime recently yeah so like what he's been uh, arrested for yeah he was recently arrested christina uh because he was having a a ritual with two other people <laughs> that involved uh the venom of a toad <sighs> and uh well one man inhaled the venom of the toad and it murdered him he oh. died. He died. So now oh. Nacho is being um, charged with manslaughter because he was the shaman of the ritual. Oh, wow. So, and was he aware that this could potentially Well, I think when anybody, kill? I'm not really uh, one of these holistic types. I've never dabbled. I just smoke bowls. Do you know what right. I mean? Like, I've never really gone like, what re uh, you know, amphibian can I lick? to get fucked up off of. So I don't really know how it works. Oh my God. Uh, they did dry it and then inhale it. Mm. And I know it has like DMT properties and people do this all the time. And I don't know if Nacho is like, uh, this was maybe what he was gonna do in his retirement, become like a shaman for people mm. to guide them through their trips or what have you. But um, in this case, it went awry, I'm afraid. Where did it happen? At his home. But where's that? In Spain. Oh, so that's where the... the yeah, this is... He's it all happened in Spain. there. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's happening. So it's like, you know, I don't know. I, I, I think, you know, it's kind of an accident. Mm -hmm. that's, yeah, it sounds... You know, it sounds like an accident. But I read in the in the, the brief thing that I saw said, this has been an ongoing investigation for... Right, like, for like... A, it's It happened a year ago. A year ago. Yeah. So, so they really have been... Trying to hammer it yeah. home. And I'm not sure if it's uh, because of all the previous white collar crimes that he got away with or whatever if they're trying to build a case against him and so they were doing like some type of ceremonial thing yeah they were having like a ritual you know trying to have a, a trip you know uh -huh. it's kind of like doing dmt right or it's ayahuasca that yeah, kind yeah, of thing well this is uh yeah this is specifically very similar to dmt okay and so they're trying to have a fucking trip and like you know open their third eye and all that shit mm. and uh so nacho is getting involved in that and he's doing that now, which is better than his previous work, I'd imagine. You know, he I, isn't it weird that he has manslaughter charges for this, but he never murdered anyone in any of his porn. It's mm, very interesting. Probably point. could have with well, that. Well, he was slapping people around. I mean, he does a lot of stuff, slamming their heads with toilet seats and shit. Yeah. Wow. So it is just wild that this caught up to him in this regard. But yeah, in that video clip, he talks about Let's like, see. the difference between mainstream film and what he does. Where is the limit for porno? Where is the limit for porno? Because you can shoot a, a regular movie, mainstream movie, and they know it's a mainstream movie, and you know they know it's a script, and they know it's it's not true. But this so the 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 pornography have that power, then the people believe, then these things are happening for real. Hmm. Yeah, you you need to know how ridiculous questions people ask me about it. You know, like, oh, she was, you know, you really pick up in the school, right? Oh, my God, yeah, yeah, she, oh, how old is she? She was 15, she was 16. I'm like, man, she was 19, 20. It just <laughs> so stress different. Her like Big difference. Girl. That's yeah. it. Oh, man, you know, like, fuck, really? You know? Okay, so I think what he's saying there is about People how believe fans, porn is yeah, real, believe that, whereas yeah. when you watch a movie... You understand that it's film and it's right. fiction. That's right. right. Yeah. Watch well, his the next. People point. believe then what we do in porno is true. That's why Stop when they see eye. you slapping a girl, they think you a motherfucker. But when they <laughs> see when they see um, Robert De Niro or you know or Jack Nicholson uh, raping a girl in the movie, they go, like, "Wow, what a great actor." What movie was that? That's a good point. I don't know. <laughs> I gotta check that one out. I never saw. <laughs> oh no! You never saw the famous De Niro <laughs> rape huh. thing where he's like, "Hey, I'm raping this girl." <laughs> rape you? <laughs> hey, you want me to rape you? <laughs> are you are you raping me? Uh, I'm gonna rape you. Uh, you? <laughs> and then there's Jack. He's coming. Hey, am, are we raping people? Now I do remember that Jack <laughs> has the famous one that we always talk about. Are you fucked up enough to let? Remember? You fucked oh, he up said, enough yeah. to lay me? Yeah. What? Yeah. The, or does the girl say it to him? 
I don't even remember the reference. We've it been was, saying it for so it long. Was a, it was a movie with Jack Nicholson where he's like, oh, yeah. yeah, he's all, and yeah. the girl's much younger. Mm -hmm. and uh, As good I, as it gets. I, I think I thought, no, she's, that was no, a good I thought one. she was like, are you fucked up enough? The yeah, lady? I think that's what it is. And he like he reaches needs... for a bottle. And he's like, oh, yeah, like, he's got to get fucked up. I'm yeah. too distracted by his shaman's necklace. Yeah. I mean, that you is. You are, huh? That, well, he is getting into the Doesn't that spirit, look, doesn't right? he have a really intense it. look, though? Eat. Could like you imagine him in like a cave where he's like making you lick a frog and fucking no. he's like, now you're going to see Jesus. Because like, uh, honestly, like, just, and I know this is just like a little clip, but that dude, like seeing him, you know, it puts like, it makes me a little uneasy. Like if I were to spend, like, I would feel uncomfortable around that guy. Yeah, he's an he's intense off. man. Yeah. yeah. Well, and the he looks like he smokes a lot of cigarettes. I don't know if he does, but doesn't he seem kind of smokery and like doesn't take care of himself? Super cool, yeah. I don't Super know. Cool. The eyebrows are a little high. Mm. Real cool. Little plastic yeah. Surgery. You got to see some of his work. No, it's thanks. It's really something. No, thanks. Really, really it something. It is. You're familiar? Banana Land. I think I've seen one or two things. It's not my, it's, it's, I'm not into it. <laughs> it's fucking. Yeah, aggressive. it makes you wonder. You're like, what am I doing if this is sex? Yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. What like, am I doing? This guy's varsity and you're just oh. I mean. peewee. <laughs> yeah. I mean, beyond varsity. This yeah. guy is an astronaut. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. This guy is on another planet of his own. Mm -hmm. So, but he is likening himself to actors. I see what he's saying. Like, I've heard this argument before. Which it is. It is. Yeah. Fake it was that Do you documentary. Think he goes into it and he's like, I'm going to slap the shit out of you at this point, and then you'd say, Oh, it hurts, and then I hit you again in the <laughs> face. Do you think they plan it out like that? Yeah. Like, I don't know if it's in that yeah. detail, but he's probably something like, You like it rough, no? And she's like, Yeah. And then he's like, Wow. And she's like, Holy shit. You think he asks you like it rough, or do you think he comes in there and he's like, no, Obviously, he's like, this chick this is, is a rough signed scene. up to do yeah. this? Yeah. Yeah. You know who I am. You see the toilet here. You know who <laughs> <laughs> What do you think the toilet is for? Wait, yeah, we're going to use it. Not for poopy or pee pee. <laughs> we're going to give your face a wash. Oh my God, dude. It is. Yeah. yeah. But Real yeah, no, girl. I mean, he compares it to film. Well, really. here's the deal, right? Porno is essentially prostitution with cameras, and the mm. camera gets you out of it being a prostitution. Prostitution charge. is not a word that we sex workers. <laughs> ever want to use when and it comes explain to why because yeah, why? that is a improper stigma oh i'm sorry have i been prostitution phobic this well you are definitely phobic of some kind i don't know <laughs> yeah if it's i don't want to use that word that is a slur yeah in our community sorry sorry but yes no he's liking it to film and like jack not i mean i don't i don't know which movie jack nicholson raped a woman but i, I don't know that one either yeah. but i do remember watching mm -hmm. one of those um documentaries and Those are was, all in Spanish. I tried to No, watch no, no. Them. A documentary about the adult business oh, oh. where Ron Jeremy made that point where he was like, we're doing, he was talking about like Stanislavski and, you know, like <laughs> big acting coaches. And he was like, we're doing like the highest form of this. <laughs> right. Yeah. <laughs> Which is sex. Yeah. Yeah. I have to pretend I give a shit about this broad. <laughs> yeah. And then I'm going to have to come in her at I the end of the scene. It's a lot like of work. Blondes. Yeah. You know, <sighs> it is acting right. Yeah. It's a Herculean thing for them. To I'm into jizz. I'm into fair skin women. <laughs> I'm over here fucking this tan girl, and it's I gotta pretend like I like it. <laughs> it's true. Yeah. Well, I guess yeah. The, the argument. How am I being, supposed to get hard without another woman's <laughs> tongue in my ass right now? But that's true. This so they crazy. I gotta but, pretend. I but, like this. But like you know, you you suck a D in a in a mainstream film, and it's considered artistic, right? Like Brown Bunny. It's that I one think with, Chloe Seven, you got yeah. a little heat for that yeah, one. But more yeah, more than a yeah, little. Yeah. Like yeah. her but career it was, artistic. was destroyed. <laughs> 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 but it was artist. Some people thought of Considered it that way. Yeah. Art. And now she's starving like an artist. Yeah. Uh, but uh, no, she's probably doing just fine. Big Love was a fantastic show. But uh, yeah, wouldn't it be funny if he was like really in bed like a lo real lover? He's like, I really like cuddling. I don't really. <laughs> I'm in real like life a, yeah, you I never like, know like, i'm just a cuddler in real life you know so i do all this toilet way, slamming <laughs> way too much of a savage for no that yeah to be you true. were uh your husband told me a little info about him that he discovered that he was too sick of having sex with women it just bored him mm -hmm. that he just started having sex with trans women as and well. i'm i believe that um i got more like the full talking to about that from Yoshi a few years ago. Oh, he was yeah. like, he was, he, he was like, you know, um, <laughs> he goes, Rocco was going to pass the torch to Nacho. He was like his apprentice, the next superstar. But then Nacho got bored and he went to Brazil to fuck a bunch of girls down there and like, <laughs> some trans people. That's what he's doing now. 
That's a really good Yoshi. That was really good. Yeah. I felt like I was talking to him. Speaking <laughs> of Yoshi, I got yeah. a DM from him that I believe he's a part of the new uh, vaccine. Oh, trials. good. <laughs> he's, uh, he's, he's in the human God. trials. Yeah, he's doing the human he's trials. He's in the third stage of a uh, trial somewhere in Seattle, I believe. Bill so, Gates is already in his brain, yeah. man. Good luck, Yoshi. You get like $6,000 and then you can <laughs> go to Frankfurt. And get some girl. <laughs> but thank you, Yoshi, for sacrificing your body for the sake of humanity. For humanity Again. and for money for girls. <laughs> 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 the best ones are in Germany. <laughs> yes. God love them. Well, love there Yoshi. aren't many male stars like this guy, Nacho. Oh, right? yeah. Are there many male I mean, there's only, I'm a, stars? I'm not a... Dude, industry? I'm telling you, Yoshi broke it. That he said... That this was an apprentice to Rocco. Oh, yeah, wow. it was like this, his, is, this was like the next guy. It's like Robert Redford but to he, Leo. Yeah. But he whatever. literally wanted to go into Brazil and have sex with uh, transsexuals. Is that what you're saying? He, like, he just went he that lane it. instead of Remember being Remember when like Chappelle the, left and went to guy. Africa? <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> he flipped out. He yeah, needed exactly. to clear his head. Same. Yeah, same, 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 same. same. Only same. Chappelle, I don't think, went to fuck trans women. You don't even know that, though. I'm yeah. not going to say. You don't know that. No, but that is, yeah, it's this is what this well, is the intel. You know, uh, could you imagine inheriting? He's still a great performer. He has, <laughs> <laughs> he has a huge dick. Could you even take <laughs> Rocco's torch, though? I mean, that well, that's a lot to live up to, and maybe yeah. that's why he did. Yeah, maybe that's why he did flee. Maybe he was like, "Fuck this." The guy's a real. Legend. I don't want to live in a shadow. Yeah, I'm gonna go suck a couple dicks, have yeah. my dick get sucked a couple times. See yeah, but this Brazil, this literally this was like like that that description for you meant that like he was so bored of fucking porno chicks he was like we gotta step it up man this yeah is I need it to be gnarlier yeah I need it to be I need the next <laughs> what's gnarlier level. yeah I need to push it push 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 would you yeah. fuck a girl with a dick Ooh. would I fuck a girl with a dick well, here's the deal there yeah but like a girl if she had a dick on her but you're sure. fucking her butt. But you're fucking her butt. You're not in the, like what if you were just on, like you're making out with a, a smoke show girl, right? Okay. And then all of a sudden she takes, she's like, "I have a dick," and you're like, "Oh, that's a surprise." Yeah. And she's like, "Oh, you, you just have to touch it with your hand." Are you stopping? <laughs> no. No, I'm finding a toilet and I'm fucking taking her to it. And we're gonna. <laughs> you're gonna jack her D. Huh? You're gonna J her D. I'm gonna J her D. Yeah, she's got a dick. Well, I think, I mean, at that point, I feel like I should You're be in like, too deep. You're already Yeah, I feel, like, I feel like I'm, I'm, I'm in too deep. But I feel like, look, why don't you service me first and then we'll take care of you. No, you got to do the first. You got to do that first. Otherwise, you're not going to want to after. And then it's going to be a real fucking like. No, but so what I got to do. You're going to have you're going to begrudgedly do it. Then at the end, you have to do it while you still have the poison. No, in your, but he's saying yeah. let her take care of him first. And, and then, then he, he can won't bail. That's care. a real yeah. shithead move. It, it, yeah, well. that's look who you're talking to. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but I'm saying if you were to follow through, if your conscious caught up to you and you felt that guilt, you know what like, I would do? I guess I have to. I would uh, I would leave and then I would come back and I'd be like, I felt real bad that I didn't jack you off. <laughs> <laughs> I'm back. And then you would do it. That would be worse. Like for me. the next That's morning. Way worse. She's like, I'm at breakfast. That's way worse, sir. That yeah. is way worse. I'd get it out of the way. I'd be like, I'm so horny. I'm just gonna jerk this dick, and then, <laughs> then I get to do. Have yeah, but what if she's what if she's like, I don't want you to jerk what? it. I want you to like, you know, slob on it. Yeah, mm, that might be tough. That might be an impasse there. Okay, what if she's like, can I just put it in your ass real quick? That would be tough. <laughs> <laughs> How big are we talking? It's not that big. It's like, an, and it's like new. She added uh, added on. No, she's no. a guy. Oh, oh yeah, you're right. Who the other way. My bad. So yeah. she's I'm just trying. Got, I didn't know which way. So she yeah, used yeah. her tick cups. Because either way, she, I'm not. Either way, I would still have in the scenario. She used her tick cups, so it's a yeah. dude. Okay. Would you let her? No. What would you let her do then? I would do the hand job. Thing. Oh, the hand job. Yeah, if I was in the throes. Hand job. But then that means that's all you get back. That's what I'm saying. You'd be like, all right. I bet I could con- up the ante and then I could be like... You talk her into it. Yeah, yeah, Wait, yeah. No, hold on. What about me and a trans man? Wait. How would that work? Let me wrap my brain around this. So hold on. So you're with a man. A woman. No, you're, no, no. Would, you lick, a, to a man. would right. you lick a man's box? Like, That's right. Hold on. Like Buck Angel? Yeah, like, exactly. Exactly. Okay, hold on. I'm wrapping my brain around this. So you're seeing a good looking guy. Right. You are attract. You think he's physically attractive. Yeah, and then he's like, Buck finger Angel. me and you're like, your butt? And he's like, no. My yeah. my pussy and you're like what? Wow, yeah. that's such a fucking noodle bender, exactly. right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Well, here's the deal, man. I'm afraid of her of his vagina. Like I'm kind of a. F- but you don't see it until you're out. already. Yeah, you're all you're in the throat. All, you're making out. You're like you're all right, gooed right. up. You you're, got yeah, you okay. are you are snail trailing the couch. All right. 
then I guess yeah, I just go where the day takes me. All yeah. you gotta do is just yeah, like you're flick, like whatever. Flick, flick their bean. I mean, yeah. you just gotta flick the bean a little while. Mm-hmm. But I don't. Oh man, vaginas are way more daunting than peeners because they're complicated. No, I disagree. I mean, that's a that's relative to who you are, I suppose. But I think it's another way. I think if you know a vagina, you can do it. A peener, I do, I know how to do. I don't know how to do. Peeners yep. are. St- Simple it's a lot town. of outside versus inside stuff. Right. That's a thing. There's a lot of complications yep. to the vagine. Just let me eat you. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> this is the coolest guy episode. Ever. Yeah. 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 So, uh, you become that guy in this scenario. <laughs> let me eat you. Yeah. You, you start oh, do saying, I have to go oh, down on Buck yeah. Angel? Yeah. Ooh, yeah, yeah. That's different, huh? I would finger her, him, <laughs> but not. I don't I'm know if I would. cry. <laughs> Go what about that other thing that they them. do where they grind their va- their vajays together? I heard the lesbos don't really do that. Yeah, I, I've seen it and I've not. Yeah, seen you're it. the expert. You tell me. Because I've seen ways where they can do it, and I'm like, I've talked to girls, and they're like, Yeah, it's fun because it's like humping something, but well, it's sure. not. You know, it's I not might like, do that because that's easy. Then I don't have to like touch it, lick it, or deal with it. Just, yeah, let's just rub each other. Grind just it out. Yeah. Each at one time. Ugh. <laughs> Yeah, you sleep for three days, baby. Well, all right. Look, I just want to let everyone know: free nacho <laughs> trending on Twitter. Hashtag free nacho. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> oh, wow. I think it's the most nacho. important hashtag that should <laughs> be going true. on at the moment. Yes, I don't think there's anything that I mean that should be riding above. Is that. he in jail right now? I believe he's in custody. Yeah. <laughs> he's in custody. Yeah, nacho, we got your back. We need you in the world. And you can sticking live heads up to in Rocco. the toilets, and you can, yeah, you can surpass. You can be better than Rocco, Nacho. Don't run away from your destiny. You are our De Niro, sir. Um, thank you for stopping in. And Thanks for having filling me. us yes. in. And uh, I know you're doing. You're going on stage. I think I don't know if by the time this comes out, you've already been on stage. Yeah, this might be the last time you see my quarantine here. Yeah, it's really because you're going to cut it after your set. Yeah, I'm, or for my set, I haven't decided. Okay, I think I might do the set with the hair. I'm actually kind of, is this weird? I'm kind of digging it. No, no, no. It's a whole new like, thing. It's like a skull. Your beard has been shaped as well. Like, I'm just like going to look like a Grand Theft Auto person. I, feel I mean, like. your beard to me reminds me of the Civil War. And I like, I like yeah. that. Yeah. 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 What is that, a Van Which Dyke? side am I on? That's kind of scary for these times. Over these times, yeah. I <laughs> yeah. see you like am as Am I going to get thrown in the river like You're a like a Confederate <laughs> general. <laughs> oh, you know? no. I don't know. <laughs> they're going to fucking hang. These gonna... northerners and their <laughs> nonsense. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit <sighs> all right I I we gotta to run back. uh thank you we'll be back <laughs> you. shortly very educational well here it is this is the big surprise we were talking about it bef- in our segment coming up to this we are elated to welcome somebody we've been a fan of for a long time and we cannot believe that we get to talk face to face now with the great dog whisperer Caesar Milan. Yes. yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. 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 Really energy. are. Thank you. That's yes. Right. You rehabilitate dogs, but you train people. I train humans. You train, train humans. humans. That's right. We're like we're. I mean, we're pretty well versed in a lot <laughs> of the Bible, the Gospel of Caesar Milan, because we watched. I mean, hundreds of hours yeah. of you. Yeah. It's 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 always interesting to like meet somebody. You're like, dude, I. I get it. Like when people, sometimes people come up to us and they talk to us in a familiar way where you're like, Jesus. And then you realize <laughs> they've been watching you. you for a long time. Yeah. And I, I know you have to get that a lot because like we've been talking about today for yeah. a while because we watched so many shows. Man. And I've and, read your books and you. we even rescued our first dog, Fifo, and you helped us you. with his separation, anxiety issues, so he many had a lot of issues, issues yeah. because of you. Yeah. And You'll notice our perfectly behaved yes, dog, Bitsy, beautiful. because I read the, the puppy book you wrote and I trained her according to your principles. That's right. And she is a goddamn near perfect Thank dog. you. But the principles that I follow are not my principles. It's just huh? the dog principles. Dog principles. Right. You know what I mean? I, I just decoded it for Americans in the beginning. Because you grew up on a farm... 346 yep. miles away from Mexico City. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> just, Dialed in. Jesus, you did. We're not playing games We're today, not. Caesar. You didn't. You, you haven't. And you're, you're not. And you learned this calm assertive energy from your grandfather mm-hmm. who was not, uh, you know, doing this stuff with dogs that people do. Like, come here, wait that? Like the high pitch thing. Mm. You would throw them a couple of burritos every now and then, you said, <laughs> for their food. <laughs> Oh, gorditas. Oh, gorditas. <laughs> so taquitos, yeah. Right, and you grew up around these animals, and you really wanted to know how they thought. I grew up, uh, 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 my grandfather always said, never work against Mother Nature. Always gain their trust, always gain, always gain their respect, 
and they're going to give you a beautiful gift called loyalty. Mm. So we come from a poor, you know, background, low income background. So a, a gift, uh, you know, you always want a gift, mm -hmm. and that was that's how he actually made made me believe that I have to gain the trust, I have to gain the respect, you know. And 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 how do I do it? Well, you have to stay calm, and you have to understand that the way they learn is no size ears. And right. Then, and then they like to do three things: follow, play, explore. So my grandfather, he likes it or not, he he was a uh, he was a formula guy. Mm. You know what I mean? It's, uh, what I teach is a formula, so it's easy for you to remember. Right. Exercise, discipline, affection, trust, respect, yes. love, honesty, integrity, loyalty. So most people fo uh, follow a formula, but it's backwards. Most people do affection first. Most people do, especially in America. Mm. You you said that in yeah. your books. You came to the United States and you saw that, yeah. that dogs were on leashes. They were in, was... Yeah, they were the land of the free and the dogs are on leashes. Right. And you go to Mexico, the dogs are off leash. So which one is? Free? Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> See, it's, it's just... People get very, very, very worked up about dogs not on leash in this country yeah i mean you there was even a, a very uh highly publicized incident you know that was charged with more in the video yeah but it all evolved around you know yeah. somebody not having a dog on a leash right um i just i never thought about that what like how that might not be as big an issue in other parts of the world dogs in third world country are skinny but they don't have psychological problems dogs in america are chunky and i get to have a tv show wow <laughs> Wow, I, I mean, that's fascinating. Well, let's talk about this. Why? Because yeah. you said on the farm, the dogs that you had were working dogs. They had jobs. Well, all animals know, know they have to work for food and water, shelter, and family. Mm. So it's, ne it's no one animal on earth that doesn't know he has to job, have to work. So when a dog comes and lives in America, that dog spends 23 hours behind walls. So he's on quarantine way before COVID. Right, right. Wow. You see, uh -huh. so, so when he goes for a walk... Uh, most American dogs, they, they do like a 15 to 20 minute walk and then they have to go back home. Mm -hmm. You see, and so, so they don't, they're not really, they, the humans don't understand that a walk is, the, is, is him working, mm. is the equivalent of working. And why is that? What? Why is that working for the dog, the walk? Why is it walking so important to the dog? Because you stress the importance of walking. So you have to see it this way. It's five body motions that that dog has to do. He wakes up and he stretches. Every single dog, as soon as mm -hmm. they wake up, they stretch. The next thing is they need to walk and run. So why would they do that? Because that's how they find food and water. Mm. After that, they, pla they practice rest. And then that's when they play and explore. And after that, they practice sleep. Stretch, walk, run, rest, sleep. See, those are mm. five body motions. So that stretch, we call it yoga. Walk and run, we go to a gym. And then rest, we call it meditation. And sleep, people use pills. Right. <laughs> yeah. You see it? But right, if you do it right. right, if you drain the body, the mind, the heart every day, the body will automatic, automatically goes into a sleeping mode. That's right. Yeah. And that's, what, that's the most important of all because that's when you heal. That's when you, gen, you regenerate uh, brand new energy. Right. You know what I mean? If you want to talk to universe, that's when you talk to universe. Right. You see it? So it's the connection to everything is at that moment. But if you, are, if you have pent up energy from a day before and then you're not really connecting. You know what I mean? And the dog knows that even when you go to sleep, you're still stressed out. Mm. So, that, so, so why dogs need uh, leashes in America? Because the humans are not in tune to themselves. So that's why they can't, they can't create calm, confident, love, joy. Right. right. So the most important energy is calmness. America yeah. is confident, not calm. That's true. So the hardest thing for me to teach my clients is not the dog. It's to help Americans to calm down without drugs, alcohol, or anything. Right. to do it in a natural way. The funny part is the most Americans, when they want to achieve this, they go to India. <laughs> so right. Americans go to a third world country yeah. to become enlightened <laughs> and to starve themselves to death. Yeah. You know what I mean? To lose yeah. weight. You know, so they, remember the book Eat, Pray, Love? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so she left New York <laughs> yeah. to find love and mm -hmm. to find enlightenment and to find connection. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So people come to America to find money, fame, and power, but Americans go outside America to find That's natural, so simple, true. profound. That's so, so true. true. <laughs> He's like, yeah. so weird. Yeah. It's so weird. And there's person. almost always yeah. a tale. Like if you study these uber successful people, yeah. that like if you really like read about it and study it, 
they always get to the point where they're like, and there was nothing there. Like when yeah. I achieved <laughs> yeah. this incredible level yeah. of fame and, and wealth, yeah, and yeah. that they're like, and that's when I felt my emptiest. And you're right. Like, oh, yeah. And then great. Jim, like but we're Jim all Kerr, yeah. chasing it too. You but know then I, mean? I went to India yeah. and I studied with the guru and, yeah. and I sold all my shit. That's right. I donated all yeah. my money. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> God, how circular. Can I tell you, this is like, I'm jumping around here, but yeah. one of the things that like, I've seen, I saw it on the sh on your show a bunch and you see it in real life yeah. a lot. Are there sometimes you would profile um you know a, a, an own a dog owner and the dog was erratic like crazy oh, like yeah. ah, 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 like barking and then they'd be like I need Caesar's help and you're like I don't know if this is help like I don't know if you can get help. This I mean this is like a maniac dog and I and everyone's gone into a home with with someone who's like yes. hey just so you know my dog's out of its fucking mind and it's gonna go crazy and you, when you watch those you're like i don't how is this are, is it able to be remedied but i feel like all the ones that i saw part of it was their energy right like the the human's energy mm -hmm. and almost consistently they didn't walk i feel like their dogs right they didn't they didn't exercise mm -hmm. the dog but like is that do you run into that predicament a lot with dogs the erratic you know like the dog that just won't stop won't but put yourself stop. It, let's go back in time mm -hmm. and you're a kid all right what's going to influence you okay so what's going to influence your energy so three things that is going to influence your energy your home mm -hmm. so if you don't feel safe peace and love that's going to alter your energy right so if your parents are not calm confident love and joy that's going to alter your energy if your parents are not doing exercise discipline and affection as a family that's going to alter your energy so those three things is going to make you develop the wrong energy. Even if you can go to harbor, you can still be unstable. We're the only species that follow unstable leaders. Yeah. Only species on the planet that follow instability. Yeah. You see it? That means we were unstable for a long time in order for us to, to search or look for that energy. So we're looking for, our, for the same energy. Right. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. But because they picture it as a money, fame, and power, mm -hmm. we, you know, I'm going to do better because I'm telling you that I'm going to create more money, more fame, more power to our country. Then you look for that. Some people are not seeking for calm, confident, love, and joy because you didn't have that from the beginning. So are a lot of those, the, the dogs that I'm describing, are they, they're in an environment that is kind of dictating that to happen? Yeah. Like it's the instability and the- Humans or dogs. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I say. Put yourself as, as a child. Right. Because mm. you're absorbing energy. Yeah. Yes. You know, you don't know anything else. And you as a kid, you will only choose calm, comfort, love, and joy. You as a kid, will, you will only choose safe, peace, and love. You as a kid will only choose exercise, mental stimulation, and affection. You as a child. Right. Mm -hmm. You as a child want to fulfill your instincts, your, your heart, and your spirit. You as, that's naturally. Nobody has to tell you that. It's like the equivalent of breathing. Nobody has to tell you to breathe. No. Feeling a pee. Nobody got to tell you. You yeah. just do that naturally. Right. You That's your it? natural state. Yeah. You're born with that program. Calm, yeah. But if they don't nurture it, and then you never master it. Right. You get out you of whack. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you should master by the age of 10, calm, confident, love, and joy. Yes. Master it. Yeah. Exercise, discipline, and affection. Master it. You're about to enter, you know, trust, respect, and love. You should master it. But they tell you to master what? Words. Thing, you know yeah. math that's they, true you know what i mean they tell right. you master intellectual things you know okay that's so because so apropos true. this thing when i learned watching your shows and reading your books and in the process of rehabilitating fifo our first mm -hmm. dog with the walk it's so important because i know this from watching you and i see it now right <clears throat> if we're in the street and I see a little woman and she's got a long leash, one of those mm -hmm. fucking Flexi clickers, leash. yeah, right. and the dog is tremendous, huge, 150-pound yeah. mastiff, and it's pulling her along mm -hmm. the road. I go, that's an analogy for everything in their world, mm -hmm. right? The dog is pulling you. Mm -hmm. You're out of control. And that, what do you teach people? You, you say, put your shoulders back. Mm -hmm. You're relaxed. Mm -hmm. You're assertive. Your head is up. Mm -hmm. You're looking forward. And the dog, you're just l loose. It's mm -hmm. not, you're not choking him. You don't need to. Mm -hmm. And the dog will follow that energy. And I, that is 100% true in life. Mm -hmm. Is it not? It was a metaphor for me yeah. for how you carry yourself in the whole world of just head up, calm the fuck down. <laughs> 
I love the candle you have because that's exactly what the candle say. Calm the fuck down. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's the most yeah. smart candle I've ever seen in my yeah. life. <laughs> right. But the fre- the frenetic energy I think you're talking about and you see the dog. Come no, because I remember those that, like, like uh. there's certain things that like stick with you, you know, like certain lessons. Yeah. And uh, one of the things that I can access, I can access from memory certain things from the show. One is tss, tss, the sound. Everybody yeah, the sound. knows yeah. Everybody. Tss. Everyone, I want to do that to people all the time. Yeah. Me too. You know? I do it to but you. That's a very Latino sound, by the way. Yeah, it's yeah. a very Latino sound. Uh, uh, that's, yeah, that's yeah. true. Where'd you it, get from? My mom. Yeah. yeah. Every Latino mom, as soon as you cross the border, <laughs> every ch- ch- yeah. it's everywhere. It's like, yeah, it's like a what's up. Is and that, then is that moments she... later, chunk less. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's because you didn't listen to the sound. Yeah, that's right. That's right. That's, right. that's, that's the right. follow through. That's the you know? follow through. Yeah, that's... But that and the other thing that I like, I like, I'll be walking our our dog and remember you know the leash and right. like that loose but shorter and that you're in, you're leading the dog yes and you are the buck leader the dog's not up here the dog's not way back here yes. it's like it's like kind of you know to your side but nearby and so, so just so people know right yeah because p- people have learned to enjoy see the dog in front you know mm-hmm. one one thing that was very shocking to me when i came to america is to see presidents following a dog mm. right Except for this president, he doesn't have a dog. But previous presidents, they all have a dogs, dog. Yeah. But you always see a dog going inside Air Force One first and going to the White House first. That was a bad, bad thing for Americans to watch because then they get used to, boy, if the president of the United States let the dog go in front, it's okay. <laughs> yeah. You know, Ferris Hilton does that and then it's okay. You see yeah. what I mean? All the influencers. <laughs> yep. So in America, pol- politicians influence you as well. Yeah. You know, not like in, in Latin America, politicians do not influence. <laughs> they, they just don't. <laughs> They're like, this guy's a piece no, of shit. No, drug dealers influence you. <laughs> right. Carlos, you know, Pablo Escobar influenced yeah. you. El Chapo, <laughs> those, those are the people like the, the, the movie stars over there. But they don't have a dog. Yeah. You know, but here in America, the presidents have a dog. So when I saw that for the first time, it's like, well, one day I have to go to the White House and tell them, you know, that that's not a good thing for Americans to watch. Right. You know, not, not from the beginning. So a dog has to, yeah. do, has to do three things, follow, play, and explore. Most people, when they walk a dog, they walk a dog in a play, explore state. Mm. But they're on the sidewalk. So that's not the place for the brain to practice play and explore. Right, they need to be focused, right? Well, focused. they need to be follow, be, they need to be in a, in a state of following you. So when they oh. see another dog, they don't claim for the sidewalk. Right. You see it? So yes, that, yes. that's when a dog is in front, he's also leading. So he's leading, playing, exploring. That's what, that's what you see humans just doing this. Yeah. And then, you know, and, and I said, my dog is not friendly. It's not that the dog is not friendly, it's what they have the dog in that state of mind by being in front. Right. But you know, uh, if you want to see the humans in America do walk a dog the right way, watch the homeless people and watch the handicapped people. So the handicapped people have a dog right next to them for obvious reasons. And the homeless people have a dog behind off leash. Mm-hmm. Nine out of 10 homeless have pit bulls. Nobody mm-hmm. complains when a, when a homeless person walks a dog off leash. Because that, that dog- That dog is, is under control. Yeah. That That's dog so is, is, is well behaved. Yeah. But, but because it's, it's living with a homeless, that human has a different perception about that poor dog yeah. instead of that dog is happy. Sure, yeah. <laughs> that dog is absolutely That's true. That a lot of times you, mm. that's so funny. I never, it's off leash. I never <laughs> He's really the only one doing the land you of the free it, thing. You see them off, off leash and you're right. I mean, from a very, this is just like a cursory pass by kind of observation. Dogs that I've seen in like homeless settings appear to be content. Like you, you see them like, with their owner and and just you know yep well behaved 24 hours seven days a week yeah there is no moment where those people are separated from the dog that's so true most of my clients they have to leave the dog 12 to 16 hours a day that's tough you see what i'm saying so the nature of a dog is to always be with the family so they actually the homeless provides that lifestyle yeah so so the people the the working people they have to learn to to teach a dog to disconnect Mm -hmm. so he can learn to live this unnatural lifestyle yeah mm. you know so, so to separate yourself from your parents is so unnatural that's when preschool most kids cry sure you know what i mean but but no you have to go to school but then the brain doesn't know how instinctually how to disconnect you understand yep. when mm-hmm. you because you don't feel safe anymore it's a different pack right and you have them done natural activities with that pack eventually that becomes your teacher and your friends right you see what i'm saying so, uh-huh. it's, so it's unnatural animals will never send kids to school does you does the way that you like you know obviously like a, a, a dog expert, but you also have other animals. Is it is it the same application? Same. For, same Trust, thing? respect, love for all animals. Yeah. The thing yeah. is, most of the animals that I have are they have that same in common, which is migration. Mm-hmm. 
you know, walking. Yep. Yeah. So, so as long as I can put them into a migration mode, they become a family. And so, so you can have a, a, a horse, a, an elephant, mm -hmm. a camel, a zebra, a dog, a pig, and they walk in the same direction, they will become a family. They will. Yeah. 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 It's yeah. fascinating. Because that they practice in migration. Yeah. Let me ask you this. It's been said that now is a good time to adopt an animal because everybody's home for COVID, you know, the quarantine. But I got to tell you, I, I, I think it's good to adopt animals, but I feel like it's not a good time to do this because people are going to go back to their lives and then you're going to have a bunch of people with dogs left at home, right? Like this is, this is the odd time that you're home all the time. I don't know. Do you think it's a good time to adopt an animal is what I'm but trying to ask. The thing is they're, they're going to do it because they're bored. Right. Yeah. You right. see what I mean? So they're not doing it because it's a conscious love. Right. Right. So, so bored. when you lack of knowledge, you're unconsciously not loving right. And so, uh, so right now, uh, everybody, I have time. I need to put my time into something else yeah. instead of putting their time in themselves so right. they can actually heal and connect themselves to the, do, do they trust themselves? Do they respect themselves? Do they love themselves? Do I'm living my life at a hundred percent? Because the dog is going to come in and say, oh my God, you don't trust yourself, aren't you? And they sense that you You don't respect you're... yourself, are you? Oh, you definitely don't love yourself, right? And they know that on Wednesday, you're just miserable. <laughs> <laughs> so then the dog goes miserable day we're all gonna be miserable i'm just gonna intensify that oh, so so so, so 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 we need to make sure that, that before we bring some a human or a dog or a child into our home that our energy is is in a good place is in a good place yes yeah, because that's what we're gonna give not just the shelter but our energy that's right. as, as, as the activities we have are there are there are there healthy activities that we exercise Right. You know what I mean? Some people say, well, I need to get a dog so I can exercise. The wrong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's not really how you motivate yourself. Right. It's, it's, a, it's the cart before, what is it? The wagon before the cart or the cart before the wagon? That's I don't an know. American Sorry. Thing. I don't our, know. Our, yeah. Our, <laughs> our boy slept with us last night. I think it's though. like before the horse. Me. Some shit like <laughs> yeah. that. Yeah. Listen, yeah. yeah. I don't know. No, but you <laughs> have <laughs> to be prepared. You know what I mean? You yes, have to you be, have prepared. be prepared and your mind's got to be right before you bring an animal in. Your instincts the home. have to be right. Yeah. Your heart has to be right. Your spirit has to be right. Then your mind has to be right. That's right. You see it? So, that, so because they don't care about the intellectual, how smart you are. No. You know, my clients are Harvard graduate, but they can't walk a chihuahua. Right. Well, who so, can? They're very high. Oh, <laughs> very high, strong it's animals. It's not the breed. It's not the breed. Really? No, it's not the breed. I, okay. Do you, do you feel like, um, cert, like certain people, right. if they tell you like how they are and what, yeah. like they're, that they shouldn't get certain breeds? Yes, yeah, certain breeds are not for certain people. No, you should research that. I think it's energy. I think, you know, let's say, let's talk about German Shepherds. Right? Everybody knows German Shepherds. Yeah. Yes. So within the, within the litter of German Shepherds is going to be low, medium, high. Mm. Okay, so only one of those can be a police, uh, police dog. Right. The other ones can be pet quality, and the other ones just couch potatoes. <laughs> so, and so it's right. the energy they're born with. Like specifically, if you get a, 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 a litter, litter. Of, of German Shepherds? Yeah. No, no, no. Okay. It can be a litter of Rottweiler. Oh, litter. Anything. Oh. Yeah. Okay. So, so in, in any family, it's mm -hmm. going to be people that have low level energy, right, right. medium, and high. Sure. Obviously, I was the high one. Yeah. 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 You see what I mean? Sure. So, so if my mom or my dad didn't keep me busy, mm -hmm. and then I would destroy the house just like a, any. High That's level energy dog. Yeah, yeah, we have one like that. You see we what I'm saying? Yeah. So, so it's very important to understand what energy. You can't choose family, but you can definitely choose dogs and friends. Right. True. Right? So, so for me, I always choose happy-go-lucky dogs. Yes. Sure. Always. So those are the middle of the pack. We gotcha. chose we chose low energy for our second dog. Yeah. See, because yeah. we want to chill and we didn't want to chase them around yeah. all day. Listen, I want to get into you, though, as a person. Okay. I find you very inspiring. Thank you. I'm... Um, so we know he grew up on a farm and then yep. when you were six years old, yep. you were put into judo. Yep. And within, by the time you were 14. That's because I was high level energy. Because you were high you level. my sisters. That's right. <laughs> but listen to, to Caesar. By the time he was 16, no, sorry, 14, 14. you had won six competitions mm, consecutively right. yep. in judo. Yep. Talk about focus and talk about discipline. discipline. That's right. And I sense this about you. You're yep. the type of, and I knew this from the minute we watched your show. Caesar's the kind of guy, what, what time do you wake up in the morning? Five. Right. I fucking knew it. And okay. you're doing push-ups <laughs> and you're saying hello yeah. and you're running with your pack of yep, animals yep, by yep. 630. Yep. What's your day like? Let's t tell me. Well, 5, 5 a.m. Yeah. I wake up and I, I, I begin to um, uh, ask myself, how do I feel? Yeah. You, know, you got to check on yourself. Okay. You can't just wake up and just begin to stretch. Right. You know what I mean? Especially when, when your goal in life is to change the world. 
You know you what I mean? You got high goals. Yeah, you came goals. from such humble yeah, I didn't jump the border for nothing. I know. Yeah. We'll talk yeah. about I, yes. So I, I, it's for me, the, I wanted to be the best doctor in the world because I thought that that was that was a, a, a the only title to achieve in the dog world. The best. You know. Yes, the best in the world. And but how did you come from such a small environment? And how did you have such big dreams growing up on a tiny farm? You know what I mean? Had you yeah. seen something like that that gave you the idea that I could be the best at? Well, I want to be a soccer player. You yeah. Know? <laughs> I want to be a soccer player. I want to be an actor because the novelas are, are very big in Mexico. Um, I wanted to be a singer. I can't sing. So I always wanted to be something. It's, it's more like a how can I provide for my family? You know, at the same time, I'm a Virgo. So I got to do things right. Okay. Did, you see, did yep. you see um, so am I. what I you do too. now? As even, Say what? did you see what you do like now as even a possibility though? Like, uh, you know what I mean? Like when you're coming here, you're like, I could do not just work with animals, but actually, you know, teach and coach and yeah. have like, you, you saw that? No, in your, no, okay. No, no, as an immigrant, what you're, look, what you're seeing is the opportunity. So this is definitely the land of opportunities, right? Yeah. Uh, but as an immigrant, you always look at the empty spaces because this, you know what I mean? Like the, like, is, is, is all these spaces that are empty and, and then nobody wants them. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Or, or nobody sees the opportunity on like, or why uh, they're not focusing on this? Why are they putting so much focus on training the dog and no one is training the humans? Mm -hmm. You see it? So when you go around the world, then you get to see how the world thinks. And you know what I mean? You can bring, okay, that thing from Asia can actually be really good here in America. That's what they brought acupuncture. Mm -hmm. mm. Right, uh, uh, yoga. Where does it come from? It comes from freaking yeah. India. Yeah, yes. you see what I'm saying. So why? Because Americans need to relax. Yeah, well, it's all. You see what I mean? And we're popping pills and we're drinking. Yeah, so, yeah. so hold on. You're up at five a.m. Yep. You five do like a meditation. I, I, I do my, my you center meditation. yourself. Yep. And then what? And then um, I say um, good morning to my girl. You know, make sure I hey. praise respect. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. And then, and then I and then I go and, and uh, always brush your teeth and all that stuff. Yeah. And then I, I go with the pack. This episode of Your Mom's House is also brought to you by Policy Genius. There's never a bad time to save money. We all know that. Now more than ever, you got to find ways to save money. Keep cash in your pocket. And of course, you can do that by shopping for the type of home insurance you have. If you own a home, you should reshop these rates with Policy Genius. They could save you a huge chunk of change. They've done that for many, many people. Go to policygenius.com. You answer a few quick questions, and then you compare your policy against options from top insurers. They'll show you what the best rates are, and they'll even get you switched. You know, that hassle of like, oh, how do I do it? They take care of that with you. Own a car, Policy Genius can compare your home and auto policies across different insurers. They've saved their customers an average of $1,127 a year by just doing that. So if you'd like to put a little cash back in your pocket right now, see how much you can save by reshopping your home insurance rates at policygenius.com. I don't know about you, but uh, when I go to the gym, I feel overwhelmed. I don't know what to do. I don't know what weights I should be using or what workout I should be doing, which is why I love FitBod. Um, it's an app that basically structures a workout tailored to what you want to do, what your goals are. And what I love about it is that even if you don't have equipment, I know a lot of people are starting to work out from home and maybe you don't have the luxury of a home gym. No worry, FitBod can construct a whole training program for you without equipment. And here's the deal, man. I'll tell you, sometimes personal trainers, not sometimes, all of them, uh, are very expensive and personalized training can be tough on a budget, but FitBod is only $9.99 a month or $59.99 a year. Plus, you can try one month of workouts absolutely free. Holy cow. Get a personalized fitness plan that helps you work out smarter at fitbod.me slash mom. Try FitBod for free for one month when you sign up today at fitbod.me slash mom. That's one free month when you sign up at fitbod.me slash mom. Now, do you have a dog that sleeps on your bed? Do you allow a dog yeah, to sleep? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who sleeps on your bed? Benson, Alfie, um, Spot, Sophia, not Junior. You let them all. I thought that was a forbidden zone. No, no, no. See, that's a misunderstanding because what I say is inviting versus invading. Oh. So if you have seen the episodes I've done, is a lot of people can't actually sleep in their own bed. <laughs> yeah. 
Yes, I have oh, right. seen that. You yeah. see it? Yeah. So, <laughs> what, so what I'm saying is invite. Because uh-huh. when they invite themselves, they end up invading. Yes. You understand? Yeah. So, so it's they gotta wait. be from you. Yeah, and they, yeah. you're inviting them to the yeah. bed. It's comfortable, it's big, right? But then you tell them where you want them. Uh-huh, at the foot of the bed, never up by well, your Well, I just, right? you know, they fart and they yeah. Yeah. do all these things yeah. and they're, uh, fart over there. Huh? Yeah. Fart over there. <laughs> fart over there. <laughs> She can really I'll fart. fart over here. Our dog farts. She can fart. Yeah, exactly. And they're gonna do, do this. I don't want that. That's so I, gross. I don't, I don't want that. I, I don't want it at that time. I, I smell. I smell things all the time. <laughs> yeah. All the time. You know Caca what I mean? In the car, I have a car especially for them. I have a ranch for them. Yeah. So I, I want a moment. It's just me and my girl. Yeah, yeah, I hear you. So now hold on. You come to the USA. Mm-hmm. You come to San Diego. This is the part that I love, Caesar. I just, I just think it's so amazing. He comes to the U.S. San Diego, he's dropped off, mm-hmm. no money. Mm-hmm. He's homeless for a month. Two months. Two months. Mm-hmm. Until you come upon these women who hire you to oh, be a yeah. dog groomer. Yes. And you said that you you appeared homeless, that you were even, you know, your clothes were a little dirty. And yeah, then, I had the same clothes for two months. Oh, my God. Yeah. And that they gave you employment. They gave you half, 50%. For cleaning the dogs, I was and making shelter. Yes, I, I was. I was just making sure that we we'll make five dollars a day, because back then you got you can go to A M P M and Seven Eleven, two hot dogs for ninety nine cents. So literally, you just need a dollar in America to eat, which wow. is amazing. amazing. So my yeah. dad you know? would always say when he came to the U S. He said, I landed in Detroit. I couldn't believe it. I could buy a hot dog and two Virschlis, which is a hot dog, <laughs> two hot dog for like $5 or whatever it was. He couldn't wow. believe it. Yeah. Oh, that's so funny. And, oh and then the big gulp, you invested one time. <laughs> yep. You know, it's yeah. like, wow. Oh. This, this, and that would never happen in Mexico. People will go refill it and sell it outside. <laughs> oh, right, <laughs> right. You right. know what I mean? This, for them, it's free. For us, it's free. You know, yeah. it's like I buy it one time, I just go refill <sighs> it. But you it. were 21, 21 and homeless for two months. I, I mean, felt more like a tourist because there's a lot of people in Europe. They do, they, they walk right. all over Europe and right. they sleep anywhere. Right. You know what I mean? And so I never felt homeless. You know, I, um, it's just, it was just a moment that I needed to go through. You know, yeah. uh, you know I was in the, on the border for two weeks. That's, that was hard. That was harder than being a homeless in America, by the way. Right. Uh, um, you know, because the cartel is can, can just kidnap you and take you, and oh you know God. what I mean? So, wow. so there's a lot of risk yes. that, that people don't, don't understand. So when we come up here, just a little chance will be nice. Right. You know what I mean? Just like, hey, you made it like a Spartan race type of thing. Like, right. You made like, it. Yeah. Here's your shot. Just give us a yeah. shot. Just yeah. give us a shot. Just yeah. one shot. If we don't make it, just we, we put ourselves back. <laughs> But if we make this <laughs> this country better, and then just give us a chance. Yes. Yes. You know what I mean? And you certainly have, and yeah. you've worked your way I up. love the uh, quote that Jeff Kennedy say, ask not what the country can do for you, what can you do for the country? So there I, there I am. Dude, Wait, I want to go that. back to your to your day. Where are we, we, you only just brushed your teeth and said hello to your girl. <laughs> no, then I went, I went and walked okay. out. It's when they went back. All right, so what time so is it now? Said. Like 7, 6.30? No, it's 6 o'clock. 6 o'clock. 6 o'clock. So we're only one I, hour you into your up. day. See, see, you know, and then we walk. I walk the dogs. Mm-hmm. But but his walking the dogs is hours. Two hours, two hours, yeah. two hours in the morning. That's your walk. Yeah, yes. two hours in the morning. And it's yeah. Caesar walking the yeah. dogs. Yeah. So I'm sure it's like a yeah, run. It's, it's, yeah. and it's, he's... it's like the immigration is following us. <laughs> and this is. Uh, <laughs> And this is like, like you gotta go, guys. Are you gotta this stay on shape. only on your property. Or this is like out and about. No, this I I go to the property after. Sometimes I do okay. you know interviews like this. But then uh, at eight a.m. we go to the gym. Okay, you know my my girl and I. Uh huh. Yeah. So we so do after oh, then your you two go hour work, walk yeah. with the dog, the yeah. animals. Now he goes to the gym at eight a.m. with his woman. Yeah. You're then Andre Jesus Andre my my twenty five year old uh, comes in and he then he does what I used to do back then, mm-hmm. you know, which is now the mental stimulation and all of that stuff. I just love the walk part of it. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's like my spiritual stuff and inst- instinctual stuff. Sure. And, and so then, now you're working out though. Into, and then you're... I go, yeah, I do. I go to work out with my girl. Okay. You know, that's uh, how we start our day. Yeah. Her and ritual is long. Really? Oh my God. Yeah. Her ritual of waking up in the morning. Uh-huh. Her the ritual. Yeah. What does she do? Uh, you have to invite her one day. <laughs> really? Like, uh, I want to know. <laughs> she just, it's like yoga, hours. Uh, hours. Really? Wow. Yes. What she read? She drinks the coffee. She no, no, reads. she doesn't drink coffee. She doesn't drink wine, coffee, nothing. Wow. It's just all like meditation, meditation. stuff. A little bit. Do you and so meditate? At this point, though, at the gym, have you eaten yet? Or no? Oh, a shake. Yeah, a shake. Yeah. Okay. I'll get ready. And so then you she, a, she does the shake. She does. She the shake. does. Okay. Shake. Yeah. 
you have the life of a of a dog. You wake yeah. up, you've run like for two it. hours, yeah, yeah and then yeah. you go work out more. Yeah. And now you want to eat something. You must be hungry. By the time that I come back, yes, I definitely. <laughs> yeah. And then you take a nap. Uh, it's a lot of exercise. Uh, sometimes I, I do take a nap. She does take a nap all the time, but I I just I, from there after we come back have breakfast. I go to the ranch. Oh, so Jesus. right now I should so be then, at the ranch. Then you're working ranch. with animals. Yes. Yeah. Then I go with the emus, the okay. alpacas, the llamas, you yeah. know, the donkey and everybody. <laughs> then we go for a four-hour walk. You know what I mean? Yeah, he's walking then I, in so you got a two-hour walk, the I gym, and then a four-hour walk. You, yeah. You're an animal. You are an animal. Well, we all right. animals. Yeah. Yeah. We, we all have well, that instinctual self. Right. You know what I mean? So the Olympians, you know, when people go to the Olympics, it, that's a, that's a, a human is its best animal form. Yeah, definitely. You know? Yeah. Well, I've been meaning to ask you this question for like a decade, and Tom and I have discussed this just between the two of us. What breed of dog do you think you would be? All of them. All of them. Yes, I want to be a mutt. Oh, yes, I, I have like all that. the all their superpowers. I've never heard that I've answer before. That. Yeah, I want to be all of yeah because they're I mean, if Newfoundlands are amazing. Jack yeah. Russells are amazing. You high know, energy. Every, that's a high energy dog. Well, uh, yeah, I'm on. Yeah, I would have guessed Pitbull because I know you love rehabilitating those guys. No, the reason why I, I enter into rehabilitating pit bulls, and and actually you know uh, having a pit bull as my right hand, daddy. That's it's right. Be, it's, it's because people, people were, uh, when I came to America, people were um, scared of the breed, which is another form of racism, right? But in the 70s, people were afraid of Dobermans. Oh, really? I didn't know yeah, that. Yeah, the Dobermans, the Dobermans have the same reputation of the pit bulls now. Mm. And, then the, the, and then the Rottweilers became the next breed that That's people right. were afraid of. That's right. But if you go back into the 60s, then the German Shepherds were the people they were afraid of. Yeah. Mm. So every 10 years, a different breed gets gets to be uh, uh, so labeled as dangerous. So the racism. pitbulls don't deserve the label. No. And if a... Uh, if neither a Mexicans. Neither do Mexicans, <laughs> no. <laughs> Mexicans are nice yeah. and they are human yeah. and treat them as such. <laughs> but if the... Yeah. if So the pitbulls... If a pitbull, let's say, is, um, you know, given birth to and left alone, would it behave in a... Survival. Just survival mode. Food, water, shelter, family. So it, 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 go all that like aggression that people associate, a lot of people associate with pit bulls. They're like, hey, you got to watch the fuck out with a pit bull. Is that merited in any way? Like, it's racism. No, the thing is, is power. Mm -hmm. Okay, you're born with certain power. Aggression is an accumulation of negative physical energy and the wrong mental way of dealing with things. Mm -hmm. Then you can become aggressive. Okay. Do you see what I mean? Yeah. So, yeah. so it, it, can any human become aggressive? Mm. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Is it a race related? No. No. You see what I'm saying? Right. So where does it come from? Well, how do you create this aggression? You see it? So yeah. are you exercising? Uh, no. Are you having positive thoughts? No. Yeah. Are you loving yourself every day and loving others? Uh, no. Well, you're more likely to become aggressive. Oh, wow. <laughs> you see it? Your body, like your mind, true. your heart. I feel like that's how that's, I got aggressive. That is. Yeah. Well, and my husband, it's so funny. My, um, I have a stand-up comedy <sighs> hour called Mother Inferior on um, Netflix, and I reference you because I am like you, Cesar Milan, to my husband. I use all my sorts of energies. I am the pot leader. And <laughs> I also maintain my husband, yes. right? I have to feed him, exercise him. <laughs> I milk I milk him every now and then to get the sexual poison out. <laughs> Otherwise, he gets very aggressive. Yeah, of course, of course. Right? That's how we say "I love you." Right? Yeah. What do you mean, man? Yeah, for us, for mating, 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 mating to us is love. That's right. Yeah. I learned that from Doctor Laura. So <laughs> yeah, I mating have... to us is love. Is yes. We, yeah. So a lot of times we just want to express our love to it. Thank you. Way. Yeah. See, I knew my theory had some kind oh of my God. merit. Yeah. I can't believe this. Okay, now <laughs> I let her believe all these things. But, uh, no, first of all, so Bitsy. But that's a good thing to believe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love yeah. That. So I, I trained Bitsy using your principles. What are your impressions of her? Does she seem aggressive to you? Are you scared of what her? What kind of behavioral issues? <laughs> what is your? I love the trust. I love the calmness. She trusts you. She's, you know, I, she's uh, very yeah, social. Yeah. Like, well, what makes you social is that you also be respectful. You know what I mean? Uh, uh, so so antisocial people are disrespectful. So true. Yeah, so you have to have the three, the trust, the respect, the love. Yeah. And then you can call yourself social because mm, you're going to approach things in a calm way. Yeah. You're going to 
keep distance because you're gonna be able to assess and evaluate how that person feels. Right. You know. Right. Right. You yeah. have that ability. Yeah. To so really if the person needs affection, then then you provide affection. Yeah. If the person needs uh, to be listened to, and then you provide uh, hearing. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it's the trust, the respect, and the love. Right. Is what makes you social. Right. Oh, oh. Tranquilo, bro. Tranquilo. Tranquilo. <laughs> um, how upset do you get? when you see people walking their dogs in baby carriages. I saw a woman in our neighborhood with three Yorkies that were able-bodied. They weren't like elderly okay, Yorkies okay. in a baby carriage. Right. How do you feel when you see that? Capitalism. 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 Yeah. 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 Listen, some dogs do need uh, yes, strollers. Some that's dogs, what I'm some saying. Some dogs do yeah. need wheels. It's a lot yes. of dogs are handicapped. So, the, yeah, it's just, in, um, uh, yeah, sometimes people just want to fulfill their emptiness like empty nesters they do yes, that a lot i'm gonna be doing yeah that. they do that a lot so in you know in in taiwan you see that a lot they do it for the heat and they do it for the rain oh i can see that you see what i mean so they get sure. too hot it gets too wet but they still want to go outside and they put a dog <laughs> in a stroller so you see more dogs in strollers than children can i ask you <laughs> is it possible to train bitsy our brussels griffon to be a killer like could we tell her could we train her to be like a super aggressive aggressive like guard dog no it's not possible no you you want <laughs> you do that to the dogs who are actually born to do protection direction yeah. okay right so those are the ones that are born to be in the front okay so if you have a front of the pack and then those can be what people call guard dog police guard, yeah. dog uh, military dog and that's usually a, in certain breeds though correct or no 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 it could be any 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 dog that a fits chihuahua that. you could train a chihuahua to yeah, be well, obviously protector? the capabilities are going to be very little because right. it's going to bite your finger or your nail <laughs> well <laughs> you know what i mean that's so you better die of something <laughs> right but it's not going to kill you of capabilities yeah. let's look at this real quick oh my gosh yeah oh yeah 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 this is this is monkey that's, I mean, a, that's a oh Belgian oh. Malinois. Come See, on, man. this guy right here. <laughs> this amazing. So this guy can do tricks, okay? Now, Belgian Malinois are, are, are actually, um, that's right. Do you know how many people say, <laughs> I wish my husband can do it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, my, wait, can this talk, like, can this change This is not a front of the pack. This, this is, is not the middle of the pack. Middle of the pack. Yeah. That's why you can do tricks. I mean, it's such an adorable thing, though. To yeah, watch. this is this is a, a middle of the pack dog. So this How? guy in the military will not do it. Wow! How is the dog able to do this? Yeah. I'll so for training. those of you just I mean, listening, this, this is a working type breed. Though, you know what I mean? So this is like the new German Shepherd uh -huh. of of the military world. Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah. So this this guy's um, the mind just wants to do something, jump, whatever, whatever it is. So to to them, this, this dog, is okay. this dog individually, or you're saying this this. The breed, the breed. You know, okay. like Border Collies, you know, what, what, so a lot of people say, well, Border Collies are the smartest breed in the world. The reason why you can train Border Collies easier is because they were or bred to look in for the sheep. Uh -huh. You see it? Oh. So, so you can't train people that are not looking at you. Right. You see it? Yes. You can train me if I look at you. Right. So if you have a breed that is already staring at you because then there's you no sheep, train, yes, yes. <laughs> then you can do whatever you want. Interesting. So for those yeah. of you just listening yeah. who aren't watching, there is a dog that... <laughs> You train this. You no, train monkey. No, no, no. Oh, no sorry. Your, Monkeys uh, uh, belongs to Omar. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, this dog um, can lift at his leg and urinate it into a toilet. Yeah. Close the lid and flush, and flush the toilet. And no, no drops either. Oh. No drops. <laughs> no drops. <laughs> I no. mean, I didn't even know that was possible. Here's a um, like a more general question that I've always, I've always, you know, you see this done different ways, but I've never actually gotten like the 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 response of like how it should be done. Mm -hmm. When someone has a dog that's going to the bathroom inside, yeah. what is the right response to, let's say, seeing, oh, okay, my dog just peed yeah. uh, on my carpet. Yes. What are you supposed to do? Well, I think uh, we have to rewind that tape, you know, because mm -hmm. everybody wants to uh, correct the dog. Yes. But uh, uh, to me, it's more, let's correct the human. Uh huh. You know, so the, the right thing to do is let the dog fast all right, and don't give him water after 6 p.m. Mm -hmm. So the bladder is empty and the stomach is empty, there's no food. So that way, when you give the uh, food the next day and, 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 uh, and water the next day, you know that five to 30 minutes later, you have to take him to the place that you want him to use the bathroom. Okay. Because that, that's, that's what makes him disciplined. That's what makes him understand. So as soon as I finish eating, the human wants me to go and release myself here. But if a dog, and nobody's supervising or nobody's guiding the dog, you have to go. Yes. 
you know, you got to go. Yeah. So that's not the fault. Oh, that's not the, the, the I fault mean, of the dog. What you're saying right now seems very logical, mm-hmm. and, but I feel like millions of people don't think like that. Listen, astronauts have to train themselves <laughs> yeah. to use the bathroom at a certain time. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Uh, 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 people that do sports, they have to take a water. People that do marathons, they don't just drink water all the time. You yeah. understand? So you have to train your bladder. You know, you have to train yeah. your, yeah, you have to train your digest system. Yeah. What, what's the most advanced, like, trick or thing you've seen a dog trained to do? Because I bet you've seen well, that's pretty this, right? No, this is amazing. Yeah. I'm just wondering if, if there's something else you've oh, seen. I, you've seen an incredible, I mean, Omar has, had a dog named um, Jumpy, uh, and uh, my son Calvin had a show called um, Mutton Stuff, and that dog was, in, I mean, that dog was, he was able to write his name. What? what? Yes. With, with a with a with a with a painting thing, you know, it's just his name Jumpy. He will put the whole the J, the U. No, F. wow. Thank <laughs> God, I've never seen it in my life. I don't train dogs. Right, right. I right. rehabilitate Re- dogs. Right. You know, so this thing is like it's incredible to me. I wanted to be a dog trainer. That's why I came to America. But I saw the opportunity of rehabilitating dogs and training people. So I just focus on that. And what's your first like? What's your what goes through your mind when somebody brings you a dog and they go, "This dog is aggressive." This is a really aggressive dog. This, this, I mean, they're, they're unborn aggressive. You're never so gonna you see start it. going like, I'm just going to observe this dog for a while. Mm, not for a while. I mean, it's very obvious. It's only three things where a dog will become unstable. Lack of exercise, lack of mental stimulation, lack of affection. But in America, the dog is never lacks an affection. Right. You know, most of the people, the circle they have is affection, affection, affection. Interesting. You know, so yeah. it's body, mind, heart. But people just do heart, 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 heart. Right. It's like you know? a child. They treat the dog like a cute little... Worse because if even yeah. ki- uh, even at least kids, kids go to go to go to soccer pla- right. practice, right. baseball practice. Right. You know what I mean? Oh, here's a question I've been dying to ask you. I've noticed in the dog training world, and I know you're you're rebuilt, you're not, but there is a certain there are two camps. There are people that reward dogs yeah. with treats, the yeah. treat trainers. Yeah. And then there's more of what I think you teach. The people traditional that, ones. Yeah, I and I. I I loathe a treat trainer. We had a treat trainer come originally with FIFO, and and she's and they take the clicker and then you click and then you hand the dog. It's like I don't even understand why. So now you're training the dog to eat snacks every thirty seconds is what it seems like to me. Right. It seems very counterintuitive to treat well, training. It, uh, a treat is your affection at the right time. Right. You know what I'm saying? A, a treat is opening the door. That's a treat. You know, a food is a treat. Water is a treat. Right. Uh, uh, sleep, uh, resting with them is a treat. Everything is a treat. Right. But you're the biggest treat. Right. But so what happens with the uh, treat trainers? They don't. They don't tell you all oh, everything. You know, environment is a treat. Yourself is a treat. Your energy can be a treat or not a good treat. Your timing can be bad too. You yeah. see what I'm saying? So the tools doesn't change the behavior, is that you understand how to use it. Right. You know what I mean? Yes. Right. And, uh, and, uh, and at the same time. Uh, at one point, the dog have to learn to do it for you, for the loyalty of the family. Right. Otherwise, they get stuck. If you don't have food, I don't do it. Right. And so, a lot of times, is they, they don't they don't comprehend that, uh, how to uh, use food as a motivation. Because at they, the same time, it's three type of motivation. You know, toys, food, and yourself. Some dogs don't want food. They don't want toys. They just want you. Yeah. So you have to learn how to use you. That's right. yeah. I never thought of that. Yeah. Oh, is there a proper way because there's uh, there's theories on this that are widely circulated to greet a dog in general like if it, it but just watch dogs how they do it nose yeah. eyes ears social distance first mm-hmm. dogs never just <laughs> just if they do that they can they can lead, they can lead into tension mm-hmm. okay so l- listen uh, when a horse meets a dog he doesn't want to meet the, the dog too close they do it at a distance so social distance means respect you hear the word social distance now because COVID. Yes. But in the animal world, that's exactly how they begin. So that's how a human should do it too. Yeah, that's why yeah. you go, no touch, no touch, no eye contact. And then the dog approaches me and then I claim my space. So I, pro- I provide calm, confident, and a scent. Mm-hmm. So my scent is my name and my calm, confident is my last name. Mm. Interesting. Have you, you ever seen the, um, how a human is supposed to greet a wolf? You want to see this video? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I have As a few I wolves. The wolves territory, oh, I am so excited. I crouched down and made sure to keep my energy calm. It's important to greet a wolf openly so they can learn everything about you and trust you. This means keeping low so you are less frightening. 
When wolves greet, they will want to lick inside your mouth. This yeah. is perfectly normal for them, and this is what they do to one another on a daily basis. If you can tolerate it, you should allow this, as they will trust you more and can learn everything about you as a person. Body movements should be calm and fluid. Sharp movements will frighten and shock them, making you look threatening. So gently, gently is the answer. This is why women are often more readily accepted by wolves than men, as men naturally exhibit heavier movements, have a taller stature, and a deeper voice. Interesting. You seem to recoil quite a bit uh, when the wolf was digging out her mouth. You don't tongue. have to do that. No? No. What? No, you don't have to do that. Well, how will the wolf know you? Yeah, how does but it not, they, they it can, doesn't listen, taste Listen, they you. can taste your skin, okay? <laughs> They can taste this you don't bar want, right here. You don't want it in your mouth? Right. No. I, uh, uh, like I said, uh, no, you don't have to. You're not a wolf. Yeah. <laughs> You're not a wolf. You like, it, uh, it's like she's not smelling the wolf butt either. You know what yeah. I mean? Like she's keeping her <laughs> yeah. certain But you, you said that you have wolves. Yeah, you I have rehabilitated. It. Many, many have hybrids. Hybrids. Hybrids, which is 80% wolf and 20% dog. Oh, wow. Yeah. Whoa. So uh, So when we did the show, we... Some people had, you know, have uh, the wolves uh, hybrids um, as pets, and listen, if you're not walking a dog, <laughs> this thing has to go a longer, longer period of time right. walking yeah. just for the so they don't want to escape. Yeah. So it, what was consistent about these hybrids was they would bend any kind of fence, they would jump any kind of fence, just to get out because they won't need it to travel. Yeah. Mm. You know what I'm saying? It's like that, that's, that's but it. most importantly, it seems like this lady was just trying to cop a feel with these wolves, right? She Listen, was just I, like, <laughs> I, I don't do that stuff. Yeah. I just send another dog to do it. Yeah. Oh, right, right. Yeah, I don't, I don't do it. So, so my dogs would introduce me to this wolf because the wolf know oh, who rounds this pack. Ah. You know what I mean? So I, I, I don't have to open my mouth. And what, just send my pack of what's your point of view on <laughs> pup play? Are you familiar with pup play no. that people do? Okay, pups, we've had a bit of a rest. This is like... Time they've exercised. Some, this is after their exercise. dog training, What's involved in rehabilitating. At first seems really but, simple because, you know, most people think you're just getting on all fours, waddling around and, and going woof, woof and bark, bark. But it's really so much more complicated. That's an addiction, <laughs> I guess, in a way. I feel there is a hidden dog in me. I feel I have to live two lives in some ways. <laughs> It is kind of like being part of a secret club. For some people, there's sexy time involved, but that's not the whole essence of it. So he's kind of the Caesar of this world. You know? <laughs> uh, hell, no. <laughs> hell no! Hell no! <laughs> hell no! See, that's like human shit right there. <laughs> you're like you're never gonna see dogs let's just wear human clothing <laughs> and behave like humans yeah you know, this is, that's how crazy humans are have you seen this before no 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 i'm not attracted to these kind of movies yeah <laughs> as a pup you're going to be using it as an active sense activating those memories associating with your pup activities so that one width of your master's groin and uh you're beginning to snap into pup mode. <laughs> He's bored out of his mind. Yeah. You think so? Yes. He's yeah. bored out of his mind and confused. <laughs> <laughs> this is three things that, that, that make humans do crazy shit, right? Yeah. Yes. It's chaos when they have chaos in their life and yeah. happiness and confusion. Yes. Yeah. Every day. <laughs> yes. Are we going to see more of this? Yeah. A good, strong smell of your owner's underwear. When you feel like it, when you're pleasuring yourself. <laughs> 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 Importantly, though. Oh, my God. There's activities that you're going to be doing to help build up your scent. And the first one in first collar training is to know your own smell. Yeah. Once a day, when you wake up in the morning, Oh, this guy have a different ritual than me. <laughs> this is a, a whole lane. Know you your know, smells. Of like, eh? this is pup play. This is what this is considered. That's where we got that mask. Yeah. yeah. Wow. So this, this thing is real? This yeah. is real. They even get tails sometimes. You know? It's they, real. Hold yeah. on to your couch. Up. 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 Good puppy. Further down. Come. Yeah. Come. Would you say that Come. his energy is balanced right now? 
Is he calm? No, he's fucking unstable. <laughs> <laughs> this guy is so confused. Now, you've come because you need a tail, haven't you? Yeah? You come because you need a tail? A tail, you know, is like a dog. Tail you'd like us? Oh, it's a, this is like a grooming thing? <laughs> Chose that oh my know. god! These guys are not Mexican at all. Oh, let's have a look at the little What? You ever seen that on the farm oh. growing up? <laughs> oh. No, no. Oh. They will neuter you if you do this shit. Oh, boy. Oh. <laughs> the dog's making some crazy noises. <laughs> oh my god, this is this is a sick ass thing. Oh wow. Yeah. <laughs> There's also wow. um, another wow. lane of animal. Is, uh, Caesar needs wow, a break. This, no, yeah. this guy's this guy's oh. need major rehab. This is pony fetish festival. <laughs> what? Pete in events and classes just the People same play. as real horses do. Get it. Get Have you ever worked with a horse like that? Yeah, you have all kinds of animals on your ranch. <laughs> what, 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 where do these humans live? Where are they from? What kind of breed are they? <laughs> <laughs> Who are their parents? Yeah, I'll tell you this. Who it's, are their parents? It's uh, it's all white people. <laughs> <laughs> and their home was not safe, peace that, and love. That's right. No. 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 <laughs> no. And no. there was was too much affection, affection, affection. <laughs> oh, that's for sure. <laughs> definitely, yeah. definitely no trust, respect, or love here. No, there's none. <laughs> Honesty, integrity, loyalty, zero. I mean, it's a lot of you stuff. You can see it. Right? Oh, oh my These God. These events are very competitive. Just like a. Uh, Horse oh, there you go. The oh. <laughs> You're familiar with BTK? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, oh. The competition gets pretty. Everybody's out of shape on there. Yeah. I'm gonna be Too bad they don't walk like ponies, huh? Yeah. Like those six-hour walks. Those exercise, they need those exercises. Wow. The thing is, like now, even girls are practicing this thing. Yeah. 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 I thought it was just on? for guys, <laughs> crazy guys, but now the girls are in yeah. it. Yeah. Right. Oh, guys man. are usually the desperate. Uh, <laughs> what the weirdo? Now, what if somebody brought Ugh. their human pup and they're like, "This pup is misbehaving," and it was just a guy who was going, "Roo, roo." Would you? Uh, uh, you know, that has happened to me. It has, what? Yeah, it has happened? No. Oh, stop it! I just walk away. Yeah. A person brings you a human, yeah, pretending the, to be a dog, like a kinky it. thing, and you're. No, like, I don't know. If it was kinky. I, I, I didn't get that feeling, but, but, but uh, yes, they they start behaving like a dog and sit down and doing that thing. It's like, oh. And want to take a picture? Of ah, no. Oh, <laughs> I, 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 <laughs> <laughs> that's right. It's like, yes. Oh. <laughs> and it's only in one part of the world. It's only in one part of the world. I can't tell you where. Oh, it's, uh, but it's only in one part of the world. England. <laughs> I'm not gonna tell you where, but it's, it's like, oh man. They, do you are... mean Oregon? <laughs> No, I've never been in Oregon. <laughs> well, actually, once. Yeah. I, re I rescued a dog named Diablo from Oregon. Really? You saw that episode? Yeah. No. I, I went to a, re to a rescue organization, and it was a love a bull, so I thought it was going to be a pit bull, mm. right? And I said, okay, so show me what pit bull is giving you problems. So all the pit bulls around that were, like, perfectly fine. And then the, the lady said, no, they didn't tell you? No, they didn't tell me what? It's him. And there was this fat chihuahua just walking around. Oh. Oh, intimidating yeah, remember, a, Diablo. <laughs> yeah. So this guy, man, this guy I would just grab that. kibbles, kibbles, right? Mm -hmm. And he will spit it in front of the pits so they don't look at the kibble. <laughs> so then all these spits, they were against the wall. And he would just walk around. Yeah. That was That's him thing. right there? That was, yeah, Diablo. I no, that's how fat he was on the. Yeah. 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 yeah but, that's I a, remember. That, that's and, oh, and you guys even did a funny animation for him, didn't you? Like, wah, wah, wah. I don't know, it's a long time. Yeah, it's a long time. But that dog lived happily ever after. Thank God. And and he was intimidating the pitbulls? That's what he did for a living. Really? <laughs> mm hmm So they couldn't deal with it. These people were, were able to deal with the pits and the whole thing. But with with Diablo, they couldn't they they will, they will get bitten. Interesting. Oh yeah. Now I also read that, was in <laughs> that you trained Oprah Winfrey's yep. dogs. Did they have personal chefs as well? Did yes. she Yes, of course. That's normal. <laughs> 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 what would she what was she is it kind dogs? of a thrill though to get the oprah call it seems oh, like course. most people would kind of the, the thing is when when i saw oprah for the first time in, and i was in inglewood california and and uh, uh she was talking about a, uh, a segment about how to say no because in the La, latino community you don't learn how to say no you always say yes 
Mm. You know what I mean? So people can come at any time and you can't say no. Uh -huh. In America, they have to schedule, you have to schedule people to come and see you, you know? Yeah. Nobody can just come and knock on the door. And right. The Latinos, uh, is you can't say no. So, so when she did that segment, I said, oh man, that feels so good to say no. So I said, you know, one day I'm gonna go meet her because I need to give her back. Because um, I saw her with her dog, Sophie, you know? Uh, in a previous episode, I said, she has a problem with the dogs, and one day I'm gonna be able to help her because I wanna pay her back, mm -hmm. you know, pay it forward. And so years later, I was invited to, to help uh, Oprah with Sophie. Sophie was 11 at that time. Right, it so was for 11 years, Sophie has been aggressive to other dogs to the point that she had to keep her golden retriever separate. Oh. You know, some people when they have like three, yeah. four, five dogs, they have like a maximum security yeah. type of household. Yeah. So they have to bring, you know, dogs at a certain time. So that's exactly how she was living. Mm. Whoa. So yeah. what, what was the remedy for Sophie? Well, you know, Oprah is a perfect example <clears throat> for a lot of women when, when you see a calm, confident woman, right? So she was always calm, she was always confident. But when she was around her dog, she, was, she became fearful. Mm. So Sophie will feel this energy and become protective of Oprah. Aha, uh -huh, got yeah. you. So, she, so instead of uh, seeing it from an instinctual, intellectual point of view, she will look at it from an emotional point of view. Mm. You know so you I mean? really yeah. had to get Oprah to change her behavior. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We, we, so like, yeah, we, yeah. we did an episode on that. Yeah. You know, wow. So I have to let her know that in, in, the, in the human world, she was a pack leader. In the animal world, she was not the pack leader. Interesting. Then mm -hmm. Stedman just went back like, ooh. <laughs> you just told that to Oprah. It's like, uh, Stedman? Uh, yeah, wow. Yeah. And did, did, did she yeah, make yeah, the was, change? Yeah, yeah. Because she, she just it? made the correlation of uh, calm, confident. Yes. You know? So the only reason she, uh, all these people follow her is because her energy is calm, confident, love, and joy. You know, Christina, yeah. you said something at the beginning. Like, do you, do you, does it matter? Because you hear it a lot. The, the people talk to babies and children mm. a certain way. And the dogs, come here. Like, do you tell people to stop doing that? Or does that? No, no is, it a, is it a time for it? There's a time for it. Yeah. So I said calm, confident, love, joy. So the baby talk is at the end. Okay. You know what I mean? Right. Yeah, at the okay. end. But no. So never never do the baby talk when the dog, when the dog is at a level 10 of yeah. physical energy and is bored out of his mind. Yeah. You can say, drain that energy and then baby talk as much as you want. Got you. Because by then, the dog is, is, is at a low level of energy. So okay. if you're going to, you're not going to elevate him to the point that he becomes hyperactive. Right. Frantic. Yeah. Frantic. This dog... Bitsy, she can walk about a half a mile. And then she's like, <laughs> yeah. yeah. And yeah. then, you know, the break the break goes so fast. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Too hot. She I don't think she could do your two hour. She couldn't. <laughs> <have> <laughs> she needs a stroller. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, with with us, we, we bring a, uh, one of the dogs carry something, you know, it has a carrier, mm -hmm. like like what those mm -hmm. people are doing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But in a natural <laughs> Same way. Thing, yeah. 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 This is very natural. What are you talking yeah. about? <laughs> Perfectly natural. What else is going to, okay, so I do have one behavioral thing I wanted to ask you about with Miss Bitsy. Yeah. She's a great dog. Um, when we got her, I was, I, so we had an older guy, FIFO, and we got Bitsy just as I found out I was pregnant with our first son. So long story short, there are two little boys running around. Um, although Bitsy's grown up with babies her whole life, mm -hmm. I think they drive her crazy at times. Mm -hmm. And our older, older boy, Ellis, was blowing a whistle, doo, 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 and it was freaking her out. And we were in Ellis's room, and Bitsy jumped up on his bed and was looking right at him and just peed on the bed. This is like immediate, like this was, hearing this whistle. She was like, Burr! and she just pissed. And I'm like, oh, that was a direct message, no? Wasn't mm -hmm. it a, a message like, hey, guys. Stop. I've reached my threshold. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Knock yeah. it off. Knock it off. Because she's never growled. She's right. never so much as growled as our ch at our children. Yeah. But she was stressed, right? Yeah. I mean, I imagine yeah. that's what yeah. happened. Yeah, yeah. She Sounds like, like it. That was the only thing she could have done. Yeah, because a lot of dogs, <clears throat> when people are too excited, they pee. Oh right. You see what I mean? It's a lot of dogs that if you move too fast, they also pee. That's what she did. She well, she doesn't pee, but she does that. That's that. Okay, so that means you're moving too fast, or you're doing something too fast. Too fast. And then they can't hold, they can't control the bladder. Oh. You see it? So that's just telling. Listen, what you're doing is making me feel this way, mm -hmm. to the point that I can't control my bladder. So she got overwhelmed yeah. and stressed out. Yeah, stressed out. And then um, we've had her pee on her bed like two times. Once as a puppy and then like, or maybe, yeah, right? Like, <coughs> didn't Bitsy just yeah. pee on her comforter a while back? Yeah. Oh, What's that boy. all that, about? Well, that's, that's, that's that means you put, you put her too soon in the, uh, in, in the bed. Oh. Yeah. Because they, they, they have to train the bladder. Remember, right. when a dog is with their mom, the mom cleans the pee in the poop. 
Right. And then it's slowly the mom pushes them outside so they learn to use the bathroom outside. So they don't they don't know how to wait four hours in the beginning. Right. You know, the, the much the max they can hold is two hours. That's why, you know, when, when the dog is getting trained, uh, the bladder, when you train the bladder, it's best for for the puppy not to come and sleep with you right away. Right. And so most people, train. when they get a, a pup, as soon as they get a puppy, they want to, to sleep with them. Right. Yeah. You know what I mean? But then, but then the bladder is not trained, so it's more likely for the puppy to have a mistake. Right. So I was wondering, oh, but but she did this as an adult. <clears throat> this was like a... That could be a habit. Three months ago. If they develop a habit, then the, the, their memory comes back. Oh, and but then she's, she... I don't think it would be a, it's it not a habit for her because... No. Random she occurrence. Yeah. She okay. peed Randomly. on her comforter. I was like, she was drinking beer that we. She likes <laughs> beer, <laughs> yeah. so you know she had like six beers that day. I think it kind of makes but sense. It, it wasn't six in her character. Yeah. And she she sleeps in her own area at That's night. Good. She doesn't sleep on her bed. That's good. She sleeps in the laundry room. But anyway, that she is chose wearing, that place. No, it's a long, basically she has a form of IBS because of uh, her ge- her yeah, genetics. Yeah. Like she's yeah. so inbred. Yeah. So she was on the bed. But she would get diarrhea in yeah. the middle of the night. Yeah, yeah. Like, pretty regularly, yeah. too. It's yeah. horrible. That's pretty bad. But then what happens is we had her sleep in another room. And after a while, you're like, man, I miss having her here. And she hasn't been going. So you bring her back. And then, like, you have diarrhea again. <laughs> so you're like, all right. But what? What? how many times do you guys feed, feed her? Twice Six day. times. Six times. <laughs> 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 it's like a buffet you have at home. She has a Regular twice a day. Regular times. What time. is it? Like five o'clock at night and then in the morning at 8.30. Mm. And we switched her food to help her digestive issues. And, and then it's the been vet a whole fucking thing. referred, uh, recommended these uh, like hemp oil droplets, droplets on blah, the food. Or a relaxer? No. Uh, she said it would help the digestion. The digestion. Mm. Well, she's been like, she's, she's been, been really good, good with it. She's been good for a while. Mm-hmm. Like, like, what kind of food does she eat? Solid or, or you cook it? It was originally solid and then this one is like a canned, but it's like a moist, mm. like a wet mm-hmm. food. Yeah, science ID. Yeah, science ID. Uh, right, right, right. Yeah. I don't know. What yeah, do you think of that? Good, Should I be good. feeding her steak? Okay. No, no, that's good. Yeah. And lots of chocolate. We always give lots her chocolate. Of <laughs> Snickers. So, so good to them. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there was a, it's a know, Hungarian tradition. Yeah, that's what we did. <laughs> we did. Um, we did what we like. So, uh, she's from a breeder. Mm-hmm. The first one we had was from a rescue. When we went to the breeder, it was like a Brussels fanatic. You know? Yeah, yeah. And they had a, like a ranch and and there was paintings of them with Brussels and yeah, photos yeah, of Brussels. Yeah, it's going to be me. And then she had like, Their sweaters. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> In the house, they had like 15 Brussels. And yeah. then outside, they had 35. And, Jesus. You know, yeah. and then like, you know, dog would pee and they just have like mops throughout the house to clean. Like it was a oh, whole okay, thing, okay, right? Okay, okay, okay. And uh, when we picked her up, the lady was like, uh, just so you know what to feed her. And I was like, what? And she handed me a, like a binder and it was like every morning, I scramble, we do scrambled eggs and we dice this up and you dice up some squash. And I was like, what? And, and I mean, it was like pages. And then she was like, and then yeah, you yeah. can do this. And I was like, this is what you feed them every day? It was a full like yeah. menu. chef, yeah, yeah, menu thing. I've never seen anything like it. And I was like, I'll definitely do this. I did. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, they, uh, they're like the kind of a breeders, like they go yeah. crazy for the breed. Yeah, yeah. they go they go crazy like that. Yeah. I mean, do you yeah. recommend cooking like that or, do you, or it doesn't yeah. matter? Yeah. That level? Yeah. Of course. Do you cook that kind yeah. of stuff? Really? Yeah. You do? I only have five now. You know? What do you uh, I used to have 65. So I, and even back then, I used to cook. For, Wait, for, what do you? I love, see, what I love about the cooking part is after, you know, after the exercise that we do, they're freaking hungry. Yeah. 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 Okay. So then they know the certain certain smells are for them. Yes. And so then they, they come to the kitchen and they make them, you know, wait at a distance and they practice calmness as I'm cooking. So it's a very Italian, you know, yeah, uh, a preparation. So, so it's very to me. It's a very romantic thing. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> you see and, what I'm saying? And you infuse your scent in the food. And I've seen exactly. you do that. Exactly. So I like it. It's my, you know, so food. what what types of foods do you would you prepare? <clears throat> um, livers and anything that is in, internal. Internal. Yeah, I cut some chicken uh, feed and stuff like that. Wow. Yeah, like real stuff. All right, I, mean, I should wow. try this. Now no, like they love it. Listen, they love it. A little bit of rice, not a lot. Don't go crazy with the rice. They're not, they're, yeah. they're, they don't need that. Kind no of carbs. carbs. Yeah. No, yeah. they're protein people. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? So, and it's not a lot. When you but feed that I'm, much, you don't, you, when, you, when you feed that kind of food, you don't eat that much. I'm worried that I would uh, upset her No, you digestion. don't have to change it. You don't have to change oh. it. No, because you, you have a, your dog has an intestinal problem. Yeah. My yeah. dog doesn't have a. Hmm. We have to keep it consistent <laughs> with her. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Poor girl. She's a great dog, though. I love her. She's the best. Yeah. 
Yeah. Just that butthole problem. <laughs> Her butthole gives us so much drama. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> She has to have those anal glands expressed more than most dogs. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Do you groom? Do you groom her? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, well, I take her to the groomer. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Every, I don't groom her, sorry. every other week. Well, I'm a groomer. Like it. You, you like do that it? too. Yeah. Yeah. You're not like a regular dude, man. Yeah. Well, when it comes to dogs, I'm not yeah. regular. You're right. But, yeah. but I like to do everything. You know? yeah. yeah. Does your lady love dogs as much yes, as she of has? Wouldn't my that be ex the... didn't. My ex didn't. And is that okay. why? That's why you're not. <laughs> I don't together. know why God put that in front of me. But, but that <laughs> tell is, me everything. That is, <laughs> <laughs> that is strange. <laughs> Hold that on. Is Caesar Milan. I know. Listen, she got pregnant, and that that was it. <laughs> that was it. And I knew I love it. Love Andre, but um, I that was that, ask yeah. About that was the first you know wife. as un was incompatible. You know, yeah. Yes. It was just horning it. What was her name? Isilia. Is I don't even want to know. Okay, let's not okay. say her name. <laughs> She's going to appear somewhere. It's like Voldemort. Yeah. <laughs> so so you guys married, and yeah, she wasn't into the dogs. No. That's what it was. I had a feeling, and she was probably mm. like, you're always going with these fucking dogs. Well, I didn't speak English. I didn't, I didn't. I was building a business, and I was a dad, so I would take my kids with me. Gotcha. Yeah. 65 dogs, so I have to make sure. Yeah. 65. Mm -hmm. 65 not, dogs. Not on your home premises. You yes. and my, So I would bring the dogs home. So I would, walk, <laughs> I would work from 5 a.m. <laughs> 5 a.m. to 11 p.m. every day. Okay? So seven days a week, 5 a.m. to 11 p.m. That's how I build this thing. And so when I, when I get home, I will bring the most aggressive ones uh, that I was working with, re, that I was rehabilitating inside the apartment, this one bedroom apartment. And then the other ones were staying in the van. So they much, you know, middle of the pack, back of the pack, they can just pile up. But the guys who needed supervision, then they have to come with me. So, and then I will go to, I will go to sleep at 12, wake up at five. Oh my God. My God. Yeah, but that's like years and years, way before Dog Whisper. Grinding away. Yeah. And then how did the show come about? The show came about because LA Times follow me around, you right. know, and it's a Mexican guy from South Central to Inglewood that walks all these dogs off leash. So they used to call me the Mexican guy who can walk a pack of dogs. <laughs> <laughs> that's a title for That's a, a title, you know, yeah. in America yeah. they describe yeah. you as what the race you are. Yeah. And so <laughs> so, so, uh, so, the LA Times, you know, uh, uh, one day, you know, say, uh, we're looking for this guy. So they found me and I'm, I'm walking and, and, uh, and the, the lady said, I would like to follow you around for three days, everything you do from the moment you wake up. So at the end of the conversation, uh, she asked me, so what would, you do, what would you like to do next? And I said, I would like to have a TV show, a radio show, you know, and uh, because I want to teach what I know to people. So she wrote it down, and the newspaper came on a Sunday, but Monday was a line of producers outside. Wow. In South Central, what, what is this show about? But it's beautiful. I mean, she did an amazing piece. You know? Wow. She did an amazing, amazing and piece. And I read that they wanted you to sign your life story rights away, and you were like, nah, brah. Well, nah. yeah, you know, you don't understand. You know, not everybody uh, uh, leads by the motor code. That's right. And so, so, and. Um, yeah, well, you were right to think that, though. Yeah, yeah. smart. Yeah, of course. Yeah, so, um, yeah, so, didn't happen. Good for, Good for you. you. Well, oh. you know, it, it eventually will happen, but I'm okay right now. Can I ask one, fine, I know we've we got to wrap up soon, Go right? Ahead. But my favorite thing in the world is when you act like a dog. Um, <laughs> not like that not like those not, guys that's right exactly there. what you do no that's not, not exactly what i do not like no that. way in the world but no when you would and be wear the like, mask when you would be like all right, you know, right when right. you yeah. do it yeah, yeah i just love it well yeah, yeah. anybody who's had dogs well, actually when you do those things they immediately yeah, immediately, immediately, immediately registers it. see the yeah. thing is the thing the reason why i learned to do that besides you know obviously i i, I watch them and i imitate them and all of that yeah uh it's because people would, were not able to see them in their dogs you see it? So, and then I will imitate what the dog is doing. You see? That's I'll, my I'll, favorite. I will imitate the behavior. Yeah. And, and so that, oh, you're right. Because they, they're, they're not looking at it as what it is. Yeah. You know, they're living in the story. So it's reality versus story. So right, because you're you're putting your own human story on what the dog's behavior means. For the, yeah, for for the owners. For the yeah. owners. Yeah. yeah. So the dog tells you the truth. The human tells you the story. Ah, mm. you know what I mean? So it's like the dog immediately sees that we don't do exercise here, we don't have rules, bonds, limitations, and we get affection anytime we want. So the dog is gonna tell you the truth. The human is gonna tell you the story. The human is gonna tell you, I read all your books, I watch all your shows, I already hire all these people, and my dog's still not listening. Right. So they still think as the dog. Right. So if you, if, you know, when people actually do what I say, they will never blame the dog. 
they will take responsibility of their energy, mm -hmm. their activities, and their and their habits. Yeah, it's fascinating you stuff, man. It, man. You really uh, everything you. It's like philosophy listening to you talk it about is. this stuff. It is. I think that's, that's why I'm so I'm so attracted to your work because it's so thoughtful. It's so layered. Thank it's you. so meaningful. It, it wasn't just like give the dog a treat when it does something right. Mm -hmm. it, it's so counterintuitive to me. And you really do. You do train people, and I yeah. feel like I've learned so much from you. Yeah. I just wanted to thank you. Because FIFO changed our lives, they that did. dog completely opened us up. And he's mm -hmm. the reason we have two beautiful children today, I think, because he made us love and yeah. be responsible for some yeah. something outside of ourselves, you yeah. know? And we really, we love taking care of that guy and of this one, too. Mm -hmm. Anyway, you're fantastic. Thank you. I yes. thank just, you. I'm so thank glad you, you Where exist. should any, uh, people go to, for more Caesar's website? Caesarswaite.com. Caesarswaite.com. Yeah, we're... Where I put I also you know Instagram and Facebook yeah and, yeah yeah know, Twitter and yeah this YouTube. was a this was a thrill the man best. yeah uh, go to Caesar's Way and yeah thanks for all the years of uh, entertainment and information and and it's and, the you know. new episodes coming up oh, there are what? yeah surprise yeah ten new episodes ten new episodes uh, yeah we put in the pack together back nice together, yeah with Nat Geo. So we're going back, and, and there's a lot of new a lot of new stuff that that we're doing That's my kids are 25 and 21 so I'm wow. putting the pack. When I started, it was just me. Sorry, wh now wh I have a I pack. forget. Where does Aww. it air? Airs on National Geographic. On oh, National Geographic. Yeah, okay. Nat Geo Wild. Okay, Nat Geo Wild. Yes. And before we go, just one time, I'd like you to grade my. That's great. That's great. That's good. Great. See? That was good. good timing. Good intention. Good intention. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but don't forget. Don't forget this. Oh Whoa. yeah, that's the one I like. Man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you have right. to use your body. That's right. You block it. It really <laughs> works. That's block the thing. Block him with they the body. Really... But, but the thing is, this charges you. Uh -huh. This points the direction where the energy goes. Uh -huh. Yeah. And then this attracts the the, the ears. But but every That's so it's, it's you you're turning yourself on. Yeah. In a good way. I love it. That is so not like these guys. <laughs> yeah. But that is so true. When I see my boys doing monkey business in the mm -hmm. yard, a mother can sense it. Yeah. Just like your mother gets, yeah. and all I have to do is go, hey. Yeah. And then they, oh, they stop yeah. what they're doing. Yeah. And I just stand there. I don't even have to say shit. I just gave them the hay. Yeah. And now they just stop what they're doing. But the hay, sorry. the hay, what it means to the brain is snap out of it. Yeah. Pay attention to me. And then the conversation is energy body language. That's right. And then you make it more animal like. So it's easier for the for the brain to go to surrender. You don't want the fight flight avoidance. So when you use too many words, you can actually send the human to fight flight avoidance. Yes. When you use very little words, you, you can send the human to surrender. So right. Surrender means the mind open and paying attention to you. Right, especially with small with small children. Because they are in a, they are an instinctual way of being. That's right. And yeah. the calmer you are, and you know. That's what you're telling them to be. That's right. Yeah. Instead of being frantic, what are you doing? Yeah. yeah. How many times did I tell you? Blah, 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 blah. Yeah. Now you're that, out of control. That's right. And, and what the, are and they? And then they go into a fight, flight, avoidance. And what so they it, see you're out of control, they don't trust you too. But re like. remember, uh, uh, any 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 being is controlled by instincts. And what control instincts? Energy. So what's the outcome that you're looking for? That surrender. Of what? Don't use the wrong energy. Right. So you're saying if you do, yeah, like calm, calm, calm confident, love, that? joy. Yeah. Yeah. Calm first. Confidence is direction. Love is because they're doing it. And joy is because everybody's in, in tune again. Right. And that's yeah. the outcome you want. So you yeah. project that. You only need four energies to live in this, in this world. Four, calmness, confidence, love, and joy. Anything outside, you don't. Because if you have the other energies, your life is going to be chaotic, unhappy, and confused. So nobody wants those three things. And then you put on latex puppies. <laughs> These guys are completely and confused. Like, Come smell your underwear every day. <laughs> learn your own smells. Your own smells. <laughs> what a ritual. Uh, huh? That's pretty cool. Huh? <laughs> oh, the world full of stuff. Oh, my goodness. ¿Vas a volver un día para hacer mi podcast en español? Claro que sí, compadre. Okay. Eso. Eso, güey. Eso, Lo cabrón. Vamos a hacer. <laughs> that was cool. Vamos a hacerlo en español. Claro que sí. Hay que, hay que enseñar a todo el mundo. ¿eh? Sí, claro. Especialmente los hombres latinos tenemos que aprender cómo, cómo conectarnos con la mujer, cómo conectarnos con la familia. Sí, sí tenemos que evolucionar. Sí, creo que la audiencia afuera ahí puede aprender mucho de... de, de, de... Pues sí, es una, una forma diferente de pensar. Sí. ¿Sí me entiendes? Sí, una, claro. una forma diferente, más respetuosa, más cariñosa, 
eh, donde se, se, uno se enfoca en la confianza de las, pues, de las cosas. Ya sabes, estás invitado. Puedes Gracias. Ir cuando quieres. Pues nos traemos unos tacos y unas cervezas. Perfecto. Para que sea, oh, para que sea bien idea. latina. Bien sí, latina. Claro. Bien, súper así, sí. Es que el latino, el latino no, no, no le gusta hablar sin comida. You, I can eat. Ah, Oye, no. food. tú no estás invitado. <risa> <laughs> Damn it. Damn it. <laughs> you gotta speak slower, okay? She, she's like an I'm trying to translate. I can understand Sabado Gigante. <laughs> I can't understand this shit. Okay? Sabado Gigante. Okay. Do you watch that? Do you like that? I, I love used that. To, I used to. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I was with Don Francisco many times. Yeah. What? Don yeah. Francisco. You've been with Don Francisco? You've been on the show? I'm Mexicano. Yeah. Wow. What I jumped was it the border. Like? Everybody wants me. Yeah, <laughs> and then they're like, come back. Yeah, Caesar, the border. Caesar. What, what were the segments? What did you do on Sabado Gigante? Help people, help uh, actors. Helping actors? Uh, like with their dog stuff? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hilarious. Did you go on um, uh, Platanitos here? Yeah, it's kind of weird. <laughs> yeah. Tom did that I did. show. Yeah. I poured beer down my pants. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, so. I was like, all right. And then they were like, do it bigger. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, he's well, he's like those like, guys. Tiene que reaccionar. <laughs> he's, he's like, you he know, is? because he's always saying things in double thing. Oh, yeah. it's like double. Yeah, 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 yeah it's it's always so like, lame. Yeah, and that's Sexual. why his whole point is plátano. Mm -hmm. Oh, I thought it was a plantain. Well, plantain, plantain plátano, whatever, but oh, it has bananas. that. Yeah. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. Shit. All right. The world, man. The world, she's weird. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Dude, this was a blast. Thank you for Thank coming. Thank you, guys. So appreciate much. it. Thank you so much. We'll see you guys next week. In 1997, Rolling Stone magazine wrote a uh, six and a half page article about me, calling me the number one party animal in the country. It actually gets a little weirder. Shots, 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 weed, shots, shots. I got weed a couple times. Shots, 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 weed, shots, shots. I'm just partying. Oliver Stone optioned the rights to my life. I got offered my own morning show in Tallahassee. So then I tried stand up. Don't remember that. And I moved to New York. Don't remember that. And won the election. Oprah called and wanted me to be on her show. Did you do drugs? Does your dad wear tiny whiteies? I can't believe I'm being framed for this shit. What do you want? What's going on here? Is this like an ambush? Shots, shots, shots. Weed, shots, shots. I got roofied a couple times. Shots, shots. It actually gets a little weirder. I understand you're the machine. Hi, thank you for watching that episode of Your Mom's House. I really appreciate it. If you want to see more, you can click on any of these videos in this general area. And also, if you haven't subscribed, please do. It helps feed our cats. Don't have any cats. <laughs>